First of all, but the kid Speed's that did. Nah, Speed not ready to pause today because a lot of motherfuckers been, been jacking the kid that did, bro. Hey, yo, nah. Pay it's, been, it's, been a little, it's been a little Pay spicy homage. out there. I feel like, listen, it, hold on. Twitter all world, they all been going I'm crazy saying is, look, the kid that did... That's Fort Worth right there now. That's hey, a fact. Come on, bro. That's all I'm saying. Look, if you're going, at least tip your yeah. hat now. Yeah, don't, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't Shout out my jack man. my man shit all. Shout out my man Boo, man. Hey, pay homage. That's all yeah, I'm going to say. Yes, sir. It's, it's, cool. it's truly all nah, season. That, we red cup solo, step. boys. Mm-hmm. Leave me alone, bro. I'm off the clock. <laughs> Straight up, please. Please. <laughs> and I'm grieving. Definitely. And I'm grieving. This might be my favorite joint of the season. Oh, that's right uh, turned up? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Me and Speed got some real <laughs> nah, footage. They got some footage out some there. Some real footage. Hey, welcome to another <laughs> episode crazy. of The Trenches. Yes, sir. Hey, hey. I'm your host, Zaire Franklin. Poof. <laughs> uh, grieving. Grieving. They, We did it. They did it. Everybody did it. Yeah. Hey, but what they say? Still I rise, baby. Still, still I, I rise. rise, baby. Look, man, I'm holding on, man. Here with my brothers, man. Season wrap up. Hate that I had to come so early, but for sure, here we are. You know what I mean. To my right, to my right, join with that boy, that boy. You know what I mean? The kid that did. Yes, sir. The kid, the kid that, that mud. Yes, sir. Did. Yes, sir. The kid and still is. That's trademark. Still you know what I'm saying? Me. NFL star EJ Speed. Yeah. What up, gang? Shit, you know what I mean? What happened? What's He's already in full off season mode. I need yeah, everybody to know for that. Sure. Already. For sure. I'm trying to know that. For sure. I'm trying to hey. know that. Hey, look, talk like to I said, the grief is there, but you know what I mean? It's always a blessing. <laughs> so, what's that? Look, relax. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro, people take, take it, don't pay attention to the fact that it's always a blessing to get out of a football season healthy. Bro. That's true. Mm, Anybody that is very who played true. the game will tell you, dog, that is a blessing. I thank God. I thank the training staff. Yeah. The organization, the coaches, the people around me, bro, my teammates, you feel me? Because they play a part in keeping you healthy, too, whether you know it or not. So, 100, yeah. 100. You feel what I'm saying? I'm grateful for the season. Even though it didn't end how we want it, I'm grateful for everything that went on during the season. It's a stepping stone. It's a part of my career, and I love it. Yeah. yeah. Well said. Yeah, yeah. And thank well you to said. the fans, too. Right so, into you know it. Right I mean? into it. Okay, to my left, we got Tim. I got his bag on. What up, brother? What's happening with the game, man? What's up, man? There you go. We here. We uh-huh. had ourselves a little weekend. Hey, man. A hey, time was had, man. A time was had. Good a little time. weekend. I, yo, I ain't gonna lie, bro. It, I hate when, I hate when uh, you get you got people in town, and like they come in to see you. They come to the game, and then y'all lose on some nut shit. Ah. I mean, I'm I'm telling you straight up, I'm the worst. Like I, <laughs> Tim, Coach. I mean, honestly, Speed didn't even caught the stray with it. I'm the worst. When we lose, bro, nigga, I am not fun to be like, especially like that night, nigga. I ain't, yeah, no, nah, I'm not. I'm so, a sore loser. No, 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 no. Like, so to to the fans, we'll like, let's let's walk in. I'll, <laughs> I'll I'll explain how this normally sometimes goes. If it's an L, it's really and it's bad though. You be, we be watching the game speed. You be like, all right. Shaking out, nigga. Third quarter, mm-hmm. you be trying to think ahead, like, all right, what the next couple hours gonna look like if we don't get this shit today, <laughs> bro? Like, what is this about to look like? Cause, bro, you know what I'm saying? Look, I'm, and but both of y'all already know, man. Like, you're passionate about the game, bro. Passionate about what y'all do. You don't. I know, I'm, and knowing both of y'all, don't like to lose at nothing. I don't care if that bitch is running to the door to ring the doorbell first. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, right. I don't like right. losing. Right. So it's yeah, you, you know, you you see it. You know, y'all where y'all not only do y'all play out there, but shit like my emotions are in my on my sleeves, in my mind, in my game. That's how we play. You know what I'm saying? We playing like that. So yeah, no Z after a game, bro, is on a different level. I be in the middle of the club. Damn, man. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas, then you cool, bro. We need some more. Uh- Nah, man, I'm just thinking about third down. <laughs> Swear to God. I'm Swear in this bitch God. can't even get over it. Oh shit. I just be in that bitch. Oh, damn. But <laughs> hey, but look, but I, I don't know, I don't know if I'm giving out too too many crown jewels, but look, if we get if we get home, speed, if we get home. And he done watched that jump like six or seven times in full. <laughs> yeah. We might be all right for a good like two hours after the game. But he got it. He, he got to get that, though. Yeah. That's a must have. That, that shit is that, hilarious. That rewatch give you that perspective, though, because you just yeah. be, you just be, th- 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 did I really give it up? That was it that bad? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it is, though. You be that. And yeah. look, when it's that bad, you fuck. <laughs> I can't hey, even, I can't even argue with you. Hey, Speed, talk. Hey, look. 
Speaking of keeping G, though, I'm in that bitch hating, though. I like, I'm like, this is actually funny as shit because I'm watching. We play on Saturday. Sunday, we watching the games and shit. Like, I see other, like, like top players, like, great players that I respect, like, them getting cooked or some shit. All right, shit, shit. That, that, that happened to everybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I get to blame it on that 17 games, baby. <laughs> you know, I gotta fix this, bro. I get to, I get to go a crazy, jazzy shit. You start like, making shit up, I swear, yeah, bro. bro. Niggas hurting, bro. Yeah, bro, <laughs> bro if he's doing that, and you know him, bro. Yeah, and, and you, you know, know him. Me. And you know him. Yeah, bro. Both if he, if he look, pro, like, yeah. come on now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look now! Look now! You be giving now you be giving niggas their accolades. Like you know he was going crazy. Exactly. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna just start here, bro. The worst part about uh, this whole situation, and I'm gonna go to before the game, but after the game, bro, is rooting for the enemy, bro. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. Now, to be honest, no. <laughs> after the game, we knew like before the game, we knew like all right, bet Jacksonville, they playing Tennessee. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Y'all know we don't really fuck with Tennessee. Like y'all know, y'all know how me and Speed feel about that. <laughs> that 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 situation. Like that's we didn't been there, done that, crossed that bridge, whatever. Right. Now you, I'm out this bit rooting for Henry and shit. Yeah. I'm out here rooting for oh, Ten and Hill. Hill and shit. For sure. You getting mad when they ain't doing shit that they did, this. bro? But but when I tackle you, you got the, <laughs> the extra step in. <laughs> yeah, you ain't even really. Yeah. Tana Hill, I knew Tana Hill's stubborn ass was not going out like that. I just, bro. Nah. Tana Hill I get to tell that folk, y'all better not, they better not play with D. Henry. <laughs> you know he'll go off for two feet. Nigga, he crazy. You get but, the room for niggas, but, you was just barking but, at. But just Jay, look, I told you he was nice, <laughs> he though. He was what? nice, like, bro. Yeah. bro. <laughs> y'all that hilarious, shit's so bro. nasty, bro. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, at the end of the day, wait, so wait, is it easier to, obviously, none of it is, but is it a. <laughs> Is it a less complicated game for you to root for when it's somebody that you actually actually rock with that's the enemy, or you just don't rock with them at all? I mean, you. Just, I feel like you just be in a situation where, like, you know, you battle, especially if you played them already. Like, right, you right, got right. feelings. Like, no, nah, I won't say feelings about them. That's emotional, but Dude. it's more so like, you know what I mean? Y'all didn't went to war. Y'all we didn't had battle. a clash. You yeah. done won. Y'all done lost. However, whatever. Yeah. And now you looking at the same person that you was just basically telling yourself ain't like that and you just competed against or whatever, whatever your mental edge about them is. Right. And now you need these niggas. I need that 200. Come on. Come like, on now. Like, come on, bro. Hit now. Now you, on, the, now you at the crib. <laughs> Gas, come on, bro. Last draw. Like, what we doing? <laughs> <laughs> I get to talking shit about the old court. You supposed to go one-on-one at D-Hop. Yeah. <laughs> That's D-Hop. You study them. You what study them. You, you know that offense, bro. Oh, right here, right here. The speed out. Speed yeah, up. Yeah, right here. Come on. Oh, Just the other week though, D Hop ain't fucking with JJ. Uh, I tell you, guarantee you, I'm good. <laughs> hey, backside, we good back there. Like, Straight over there. That's that's crazy. Crazy. I know it's even crazy. nasty. Like, I didn't. We'd have been in a situation before too, where like, you know, you need somebody to lose or something to get in the playoffs and shit. That shit get nasty. You in that bitch mad as shit, a nigga get a first down. Oh my god, bro! What? Every everything, every Can y'all play. tackle. Every play is bad. <laughs> every play is bad. Getting crazy, man. No. But. It's Damn, like, with bro. all that being said, I do want to get that shout out to D. Henry, man. Okay, indeed. With, that was dope what he did at the end of the game. And then the game gave his could be farewells to uh, to the fans in mm-hmm. Tennessee. I know he'll yeah. be dearly missed with that organization. I'm gonna miss competing against him two times a year. Yeah, Shit. you feel what I'm saying? Because them was fun battles. Yeah, his ass about to go to Baltimore. I'm gonna it's walk back all that smoke. Yo, yeah. <laughs> gang. <laughs> You good? Both of y'all back there. That's Lamar. And yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm copping the play. Hey, look, yeah. I ain't even know y'all was. <laughs> I, ain't I ain't even know y'all was more like, like that. Y'all like, know each I, other. <laughs> when y'all meet? When y'all meet? Oh, so, last week. Oh, all right. You said well, you y'all know, cousins from what? Speed, tell them look. Well, you know I be over here though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Nah, nah, definitely man. shout out to D. Henry, man. Legend yeah. shit, legend shit, for legend sure, shit, for sure, for sure, um, man. But man, how? I mean, I wonder what's the accolade. What's his accolades in Tennessee? Is he the best? Because you know they had Eddie George. Eddie George. That's what I'm about to say. He got the oh lead, my god. Why, why when I give you facts? Because you got it. You got I, Eddie George is from Philly. Like why that? Why we play for the same little league uh, team? Really? Shout we out to the Wildcats. same little league team. Yeah, shout out to the Wildcats. How long was that little league team around? Legendary, see that's the type of shit we got going on. Y'all got in Philly, good community bro. shit. I fuck yeah, with that. bro. Since seventy three, bro. The Tennessee Wildcats, Titan player bro. with the most rushing yards in franchise history of March twenty twenty three is Eddie George. Yeah, Eddie George. 10K. Eddie George. Legendary. Damn. Yeah. 
I for sure thought Derrick Henry had it. He's been the leading rusher for a minute. He's, uh, you know what, Speed? He's second at 8,500. 8, but with Derrick Henry being a leading rusher, 574. Like, that says a lot. Yeah. No, Eddie George was really over there baking. Who Eddie George played with? Was Kato in there? My bad. Ah, uh, you can't wait to break some shit up. Yeah. I don't know. Eddie George it's did it's play Eddie, game. Earl like Campbell, Kato? and then Derek. Yeah. Eddie, Eddie Earl Campbell, and then Derek. I've been seeing a whole lot of like. I've actually That's been true. seeing a whole lot of I like. Could, uh, I could be like, Eddie George was a lead rush. He played you two times with. <laughs> I talked that over with Kato. I, I've been seeing a whole lot of. Uh, <laughs> spicy. Like, they've I'll been pairing up like a legend with like a current back. So mm-hmm. they had like JT with Edger and James. Mm-hmm. They had Henry. With uh Eddie, Eddie George, yeah. they had uh somebody else. Uh, I don't even. I can't remember they did who. Did Bijan and Wart? You think Wart Dunn is the best running back in Falcons history? I would. I think he is. I would think so. If I know, is he actually? If I'm thinking about the you Falcons, go deep in history, if he ain't. If it ain't, y'all, that's all I'm about to say. I'm, I feel like for me, like my air for what I yeah. saw, like I, I feel like it's Wart. I, I, mean, I, I was a huge work done fan. The boy, boy had the ninety eight speed on Madden before they mm-hmm. was really giving out them ninety nine. See what, what he was I'm saying, fan, but him and Mike was. I don't know. Where, where I don't it. know if I'm putting with Eddie and them though. Eddie and Marshall though, that's a little different. That's all, all I'm right. saying. I feel like that's just a little. But different. I'm just saying for what Atlanta though. Who? I think. How many years he played? He gave you. I think Ward gave us ten. Yeah, we got a fact. I think Ward gave us ten. You can't do him like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, I'm doing him. I, yeah, because I, I wasn't thought, trying to. But I honestly think that Ward Dunn but might you be leading him. He can't him. be with Eddie now. He probably gonna be at the crib like. Fuck that young nigga. nigga who you talking about? I would have did his ass. <laughs> you know how the old heads get right on that with you. <laughs> but no, nah, back think, in my day, I think that'll be. a I think damn, be he crazy. got ten thousand career. Yeah, damn. 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 yeah. I apologize. Ward, yeah. shout yeah. out my nigga Gucci. Yeah, Ward would be I apologize. I was not familiar with your game. Yeah, but he was getting off. Yeah, he was cooking. Nah, but yeah, nah. They were definitely talking about that, John. But. Uh, let's just talk about the week leading up to Houston, at least, bro. Mm. So I, I, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Like, the mentality, the energy, the focus in the week, it was on. Like, I ain't, we ain't even going to play that game. Like, mm. I'm be real. I ain't have nothing in my mind. I felt like we weren't going to win that game, too. Like, I was just, mm. I was so lost. That's why I feel like I'm so damn lost right now because the, the shit just happened. Like, bang. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah. we just, we had that energy uh, going into the week, fresh off to Vegas, uh, win at home, which big was win. big for us. Yeah. Uh, obviously, everybody, you know, like I said before, everybody loved bringing up when we used to fuck some shit up before. So, you know, everybody, oh my God, y'all playing Vegas again. Last time y'all played them in this situation, y'all lost. And <laughs> like, all right, all right, I get it. I get it. I get it. But we handled our business. It was the, uh, got the Vegas it was the third dub. down on the left hash. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, and you feel me? I feel like the energy was right. You know, got mm-hmm. flexed Saturday night. I was cool with it. I hate the short weeks, but I was cool with it because I'm thinking in my mind, shit, we're going to get it on the back end. You win a Saturday night, you either you're going to play on Saturday in the playoffs, which is a full week, or you're going to get the extra day on Sunday. Right, right, Good right, job. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Mind right, home. energy right, at home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I guess we would be remiss to not bring up the, the CJ video. I mean, Arab, y'all kept tweeting me. Y'all kept Yo. sending it to me. Uh, I'm going to just say this first and foremost. First of all, he wasn't talking to me. He was talking to y'all. <laughs> Respectfully. He said, no, nah, no, nah, don't be wrong. Like, representative look, of the I, people. I am an any animal now. Like, please don't, don't, don't let me do it. I'm an any animal. I was sorry. I wanted to hit that hey, bitch on Sunday. Sunday. Say that clip. I'm corny. But, <laughs> that's funny. But, at the same time, he said that. But I will say, on Saturday night, Luka Zoy was turned. For sure. Mm-hmm. It was actually sure. so damn turn. It was a little Yo, problem on our side. I'm was, shit. I, we Yo. couldn't talk. I'm like, God damn. I ain't know. Y'all was acting unusual <laughs> was in that. Acting day. Totally nah, unusual. Nah. Bro, we couldn't even. I'm trying I was to speak. Like, God like, damn. They must yeah. got 25 cent whales in this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. bullhorns and yeah. yo, um, yo, yo, no, nah, it was going crazy. First was, drive out the gate, man. yeah, it was I crazy. Said, bro. Dog, we're gonna have to put some hand signals together. I can't hear a motherfucker. Swear, yeah. no, yeah, shit was yeah, crazy yeah. out there. Yeah, we had to put some hand signals. Damn, it be like that. On the floor. Y'all can't, y'all like even just. Well, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, mean, I feel like, I mean, as, as I understood, and I ain't gonna lie, I kind of saw it coming just because of how many people really sent the video to me of mm-hmm. CJ. And I don't know if you've seen it. CJ was basically, he was in a car somewhere. I don't know. He was just yeah. like laughing like, ha ha, if I got drafted to a weak city like Indy, woo, woo, mm-hmm. you feel me? Yeah. And everybody said, so I just knew. I'm like, all right, they 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 pulling up to let him know what, what's, what's going on. For sure. I, saw, I just saw him on Pat McAfee. Yeah. Uh, he just said that that was the loudest stadium he played in yet. But For I sure. ain't lying, though. That joint was crazy, though. 
Was that the loudest you feel like you heard the stadium before? Definitely. Bro, I was thinking it was third down, bro. It's second. They were motherfuckers is going stupid. The only no. other only other thing, so I don't I don't really pay, well, that was a lot of noise because it was really, we was the communication was actually kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. But one thing I will say is that Patriots home game, Monday night, I don't remember what the score was. I think we was up three. JT cribbed them boys. Mm. For the, remember that joint? Gamed him. Yeah, that was the one where uh, JC was chasing him. Yeah, he was, he was looking, looking for the sideline. Oh, yeah. yeah. To see if he should take a knee. To see if he should take a knee. And, and score it anyway? Yeah. That was probably the loudest I heard our stadium. That shit erupted, gang. Mm. But I'll probably say from a game, just a whole time just going crazy. That was, was the that one. Time. It was that one. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. It was definitely. That um, was great energy, man. For sure. Yeah, it was. For sure. Keep that shit. It was ready for that joke. I ain't going to yeah. lie, though, but like the week leading up to it was cool. You know, uh, Wednesday, uh, pulled up on the Pacers. Okay. Yeah, got to check the Pacers out, okay. man. Who was they playing? Uh, they played the Bucks. Oh. Yeah, Giannis, Dane. Okay, okay, okay. Middleton. Wait, so, but wait. He was well, speed is technically a Spurs Dallas fan for basketball. So Dallas, Dallas to Spurs. Dallas to Spurs. Wait, so like Z, so you saw Wimby and you seen Giannis. Like who was like who was crazier? Like I mean play. Giannis is yeah, one of the best players on the planet. We ain't gonna play with Giannis like okay, that. Okay, okay. But what I will say is though, Wimby is definitely more of a force. And after seeing Wimby, the rest of them NBA niggas don't look that tall no more. What? Like after seeing Wimby, Wimby like really seven five wingspan weight like mm. all his chairs together and shit. He hugging them bitches. <laughs> no, for sure. I mean Giannis is uh pause. He he big too pause. But <laughs> that nigga but, was double pause. Yeah, because that was that was coming out crazy. First of all, I ain't gonna hold you. I look he got pressure with Giannis though. I ain't gonna play with y'all boys like that. What? So look, man. So I don't know if y'all, y'all saw. We court side. You feel me? Okay. We right near the Pacers. Man, shout out to the Pacers. They definitely showed us love. I ain't gonna hold you. They played my highlight in that bitch. That's when dope. the jumbo trial, I'm like, oh, I'm going fan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that's tough. That's I would have stood up. You had your ice on? Yeah, but I ain't gonna lie. Andy, <laughs> I don't be moving around. I, I mean, we was on some cool shit. Date night shit. I'm with Shorty. You feel me? You know what I mean? We okay. in the drum. We on some, we keeping it P. Mike Epps was in the bench. Shout out Mike Epps. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So okay, we damn. cooling. We on court side right there near the Pacers bench. Shout out to the Pacers. So we had the game, right? And uh, I forget, somebody was shooting the free throw, but Giannis was like right there in front of us. I'm talking about we first. We in the first uh, row, on the right floor. underneath the uh, right underneath the basket next to the Pacers bench. Oh, okay. So they shooting the free throw. I'm talking about they like right here, like ten feet in front of us. Damn. So we watching it, John. I'm like, I'm, I'm saying, well, sure. I'm showing with Candy. I'm like, damn, Candy, like, that's, yeah, that's crazy. She like, yeah. I'm like, you know, you next to your girl, and she, you like, I beat that nigga up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, can you? I'm like, can you? You think I could take him? She like. I mean, I think you gotta get low. I said, whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I said, yo, you know, I said, yo, you know what I'm talking about? Fighting, like fighting, right? Like <laughs> Mary Fistmas, like fisticuffs. Real quick. She like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> no more court side for her. No more. No more. <laughs> it's a wrap. It's back done. Just like back. that. Yo. Nah, yeah. Damn, look, 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 look. Now I'm court side sky. and shit. Niggas <laughs> catching all the oops and shit. Now I'm getting mad. It's, nah, come on. Let's go, let's go to let's go to some eat, bro. Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't think I can yeah, get these Yeah, yeah, because these niggas, all these niggas are a whole foot look, taller than me. Look, they look, all their money <laughs> guaranteed and shit. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Giannis over here up 300 million and shit. Now, look, now I'm really ready to end this game over some shit. You're making me mad. All right, come on, that's what I got. Now, look, look, no I more can, court side I, for sure. Only, only press box. <laughs> I can't get a 30 second, a 30 second with me. Yeah, yeah, no, man. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy. No, gang. Now, I'm like, I ain't no way. <laughs> I said, ain't no fucking way. Now I got pressure with Giannis. Now I don't rock with dog. <laughs> oh, <Ever>. man. <laughs> Yo, no, I had a good job. Shout out to, yeah. I, and I heard the Pacers, uh, they got that dunk, right? Yeah, no, they got that win. They, they was in six dunk. in a row. I ain't gonna lie. Holla Burt, man. Shout out to Holly. Uh, definitely bumped into him the other night, good boy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, he going crazy, man. I'm respecting this game now, bro. Yeah, he going okay. crazy. No, he's 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 fed, bro. He gonna be also a starter for sure. Okay. He okay. Gonna, he got to. I ain't gonna lie. He looking. I'm gonna like, have to implement his bag when I go hoop this off season. You feel? Oh, that's I mean? what you want is off. Yeah, I'm in my Holly Bird bag. He I'm said, Holly. Hey, I don't know if that's your game <laughs> though, bro. You a wing? You a wing type? You really like Obi Topping? I can really, hey, I going. can really dive in any nigga bag that I want to. No homo. Only. Here you go. Here you go. Niggas go two and zero. In the in the Colts whole shoe, I see him. You see him. Now right? he now he him him. Cut that, that shit out, man. I told you it's that left hand. 
Niggas ain't got that strap. Hey, that yo, nah, I see. I, I peeped the tape. I, I, hey, I peeped hey, the tape. Hey, we still good, little Theo. Yeah, thing, right? Yeah, nah, we gonna be all right. We gonna be solid. We gonna be good, bro. Yeah. You gotta take T. You scared though. Tim, the nigga who won't take T, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And I ain't even scared of the T smoke. Like Tim, if you need a switch, nigga. It's good. Hey, stop. Work. First but of all, bro, like, stop making me the first person that got to switch off their man because that's a problem. Because that's, that's my point. No, that's no, why no. I want you guarding because uh, of that nah, statement right there. I like nah, that. Man. I like that. Nah. Yeah, as soon as you switch. Yeah, because as soon as you switch. No, because as soon as you say, hey, yo, bro, that means he the lick. That means I'm the lick. I'm not the lick. Don't do that. I'm it's not, not switching first. It just means we got a better like, matchup. Nah. I feel like if I'm guarding team, he gonna be on some. Nah, you gotta see. He got an excuse. You gotta see he's in pool. I ain't even trying. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want yeah, you now he got really saying, now we now gotta, he really gotta. You know, he's to, <laughs> yeah, okay. You know, All right. what's it? I mean, we got we got the matchup, bro. It's coming up. We got it. We gonna put it. That's the people want to see that anyway. For sure, so it's sure. cool. Mm. But no, I definitely did see the um, see the jump though. No, you got out. You got out on bro though, because mm. you had to hit the comeback. I seen that. Yeah, <laughs> he was on it. Well, no, he be talking. We talking. Coca Cola. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's who was fine. That's who was fine. Coca Cola. We tuning on the locker room. Yes, oh, sir. Swear. Oh, speaking of tuning on the locker room, how did y'all finish up with y'all? Um, with the was it the rookies in the room and the vets in the room on the board? Didn't y'all tell me about that? Oh, uh, you talking about the turnover board? Uh, yeah. Uh, how y'all do? Uh, Ronnie won, huh? Ronnie won. Ronnie oh, Harrison shit. won. Oh, me and Grant damn. tied. Okay. And then me and Grant tied in uh in um. Second place. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Oh, Ronnie yeah. had the two books with the book six. It was. He mm. did. Had Ronnie book. did win. That's crazy how Ronnie won and then he went to the another position group. But yeah. he was with the LBs. So Ronnie got jumped in though. Yeah. So I he was game. I heard he was game. I did. He was game. Man, <laughs> damn. I don't know, bro. Houston. I mean, let's. I mean, let, let's. Let's yeah, get, get into the game. Yeah, I mean, yeah, let's, let's just start. People, let's want? just start play one, bro. Okay. Coming in, obviously, first of all, our offense started off, you know, did their job. I feel like we ain't win the toss and shit, but I, I feel like when your offense go out first, the, the biggest thing you want them to do is get points. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So, okay. like, if they go and get points, we should win. they did their job. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, you think you get the points, especially if if they defer, they give you the ball, you get points, get the stop, and then they go get points again. It's like a, it's a similar of like a two for one. Like mm. in basketball, like you know how when it, you like when they get the uh, at the end of uh, the first half yeah. or the end of a quarter, they get yeah. the, the thirty six seconds. They get the quick shot up and then you know get oh it right before back. The, before the uh, before the shot clock yeah yeah, yeah you get yeah, the yeah, yeah, two yeah. for so, one so basket yeah, yeah. yeah so you kind of force you get that off mm-hmm. so you can get, yeah, yeah next it's possession like a, yeah it's like a double up play mm-hmm. uh, so they got points so we feeling cool we come out and shit no big deal big personnel and all that mm-hmm. so play action I ain't really tripping about it ooh. Nigga pushes me to the, push me to the ground. Now I ain't gonna lie, I was mad about this shit. We gave him sideline. Me and Speed had to start this job because I thought it was Speed. I said, Speed, nigga, you push me in the Speed pushing nigga into me. I fall and shit. I just get up. <laughs> Blur. Damn. First play. First Jones Fuck. tough. I'm not gonna lie to Fuck. y'all. You could hit a pin dropping of it. Man, took it, I hated it. Took the energy out the building immediately because they was no, on that with CJ. They was ready. Yeah, we was ready. They was ready for that first. I mean, bro, I mean, they was ready for that shit, bro. Like, it. yeah. First play though, he came out chest out. Huh. I got. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta give respect to uh, to Nico Collins, bro. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. definitely. I'm no no stranger to the story of uh waiting for your opportunity and maximizing it when you get it. Yeah. Uh. He's a dog. I give it to him for sure. For sure. He stood tall. He was cooking. I ain't gonna lie, he was caring. I really didn't even know he was really caring like that, too. Like at the end, I'm like, damn, but he put on. He definitely uh a good player. He got off on us for sure. But yeah, yeah. first play, man, that shit was crazy. I, I fall, I get up, I'm like, God damn, speed push a nigga Dog short, man. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, that that play is like those type of plays are never I feel like obviously just even seeing them it's kind of like damn like I don't even know you know what I'm saying and y'all broke a sweat out there like it's, it's crazy shit was just so like what yeah yeah but I mean you know it's is, and I, I obviously wanted to hear from y'all on that like what is the conversation really like alright shit that's just a play we gotta get back or is it like yo like y'all gotta wake up uh, I don't think I don't, I don't. But the thing is, I, it, I don't, it wasn't like we came out there and was on some sleepwalking shit. I truly just think it was 
throw a good catch. I mean, we, we ain't played. I mean, it was a lot going on. But what I will say it was just one of them situations. First of all, we got young boys in the back end. So you got to understand, let them know, like, bro, this that's for, honestly, for whatever it is, mm-hmm. this is the first quarter, bro. So, like, I hate to say it, like, fuck ups in the first quarter don't matter as much. Now, they do. Know. Okay. But it's just so much game left yeah. okay. that we can't get hung up on some shit that happened early, bro. Yeah. We got shake back. And, like, I, I always say to Kenny, I ain't going to say I prefer it, but if I'm going to fuck up, I'd rather have it early because then at, once you fuck up early, you be on get back be rest on of the game because now okay. you like, damn, I'm okay. already I'm already playing for the other team. I already got an F. I got to work, bro. I got to work my way back. <laughs> hey, look, yeah. now I ain't got shit else to lose. Yeah. Fuck it. I might as well just let it go. I'm already drawn out here. Fuck mm. it. That's exactly how I look at that shit. I'd be like, all right, it's the first one. And then being like a veteran and shit on the squad, you kind of like got to like, Settle that shit back down. Yeah. Okay. Nah, don't worry about that, bro, bro. It's first play. We good. You know? Okay. Just regroup. Mm-hmm. Nah, don't be a repeat offender. Like, you feel what I'm Indeed. saying? Indeed. Indeed. Sure. Never be a repeat offender, but just get that over with because you get the dwelling on it as a bet, everybody falls suit. Now mm-hmm. everybody in, on the sideline, mad, cussing each other out, mm. turning on coaches and stuff like that when something happened there early. So it's really just like the captain's job to like, Mm-hmm. Settle the storm. Keep him mellow, yeah. coach got to go coach. Okay. But, you know, you a player, and Z do a good job with that, though. He'll run to a nigga and be like, hey, hey we good. Oh, chill. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Good. See, yeah. me, I be on some shit like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way that shit just motherfucking happened. I just Talk be looking at a nigga like, no, Talk to you. You did what? <laughs> but you know, and we worked on that all back. week. No, you then didn't. I said, nigga, like, Z talking to him, shit. Like, you know what? You right, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm ready to tell a nigga, hey, dog. Hey, dog. What is wrong with you, bro? What, is, what are you doing out here? What's up, You feel what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. Duh, but, G. Yeah. G. I, you got it. Like, you got it, bro. You got to show love, especially to the young yeah. boys, man. Yeah. Battle scars. We are nothing without our scars, bro. But damn near to everybody, because it don't even be the young niggas fucking up. Like, yeah. I done had some times where I fucked up, and the motherfucker yeah. had to come to me and be like, we straight. Come on. Don't worry about it. Check that out, bro. Sometimes that's maker. all you need, bro. Like, you when, a playmaker. Like, you woo woo. When you win it, bro, mm. and we're going to get into it when we get to the end, but when you win it, bro, sometimes you just need somebody to tell you that it's gonna, you all right, bro. You good. Like, yeah. nigga, guess what? Motherfuckers fuck up. It's cool, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, keep going. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that alone just sometimes can shake you out. But, uh, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. We still talk after that. I mean, obviously. And the crazy part about it, the fans want to know the difference between having good teammates and coaches. That's the difference right there. Hmm. Like, when it's a, when you didn't totally messed up out there and your teammates can come to you and tell you it's cool because when you get to that sideline, coach got to pull that iPad out and be real. Yeah. yeah. Coach got to tell you, now nah, you supposed to fit right here. Mm. Like, we went over this. Like, come on. Like, yeah, he back, ain't there to baby up. you either, though. He I ain't not like, there to baby and, and I don't like coaches like that. Like, he if I fuck there. up, tell me, Z, yeah. you supposed to fit here. We make that play. All right. But your teammates, them the ones supposed to come to you and be like, settle down. Get back right. whoop de whoop Because coach got to break a whole lot of shit down to you before he tell you that other part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the part you know that you did wrong. Mm-hmm. The part he got to break down the whole shit of how you did wrong and yeah. how he told you during the week. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah, then yeah, yeah. he going to tell you, but calm down. Let's get it going. But coach just love to tell you. I, remember, remember that Tuesday I walked <laughs> by you in the about. hallway and I told you <laughs> yeah. that. Look, sometimes they just. Yeah. Remember? You remember that? Yeah. You, I don't remember that. Yeah, that shit was at like, one, one, one fifteen. When I just finished a nap. Remember, I text you on Thursday night. Nigga, you text me a whole lot of shit. Man. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, you know me. That's yeah, crazy. nah, but yeah, your teammates definitely gotta be there, man. Mm-hmm. That's a, that's like he said. That's a mark of a true team, bro. Like mm-hmm. when y'all rally behind each other, because when we out there, we all feeding off each other energy, man. So mm-hmm. like, when somebody got something going on, the, the best thing you could do is support them, because like I like I told him even. Well, like, Matt Gay or anybody else, like, bro, like, I told Matt, like, when he missed that first one, I'm like, bro, like, we going to need you to make another kick. Exactly. So, For like, sure. I, I get you upset and be upset, but understand, bro, like, I'm going to need you to kick that motherfucker again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, that, that'd, be, that'd be the biggest thing. And especially, like, with Jew, it's like, bro, Joe, Jew, we love you, bro. So, it's just like, uh, keep your head up. Don't let, don't let none of that shit even bother you. Because guess what, bro, we going to need you to make a play. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's just what it ever be. Especially in that situation, just move on. And we, You could be mad about that shit and feel sorry about yourself tomorrow, bro. Right now, we, we in the moment. So exactly. we got to stay in that bitch, but... Because low-key, if we win the game, that shit don't matter anyway. I God swear to God. That's the fucked up thing about the league, but we ain't... Yeah. I mean, that's a that's a whole nother pod topic. It, yeah, it'd just be another touchdown. <laughs> yeah, that'd just be, oh, yeah, first quarter, they did this. Yeah. But hey, look at what they did. You know what I mean? They be one of them bitches, but yeah, we ain't get that. Uh, but we still <laughs> talk. I mean, we look, we end up shaking back. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie. It was that was a good atmosphere, bro. Great atmosphere, mm. great game, great battle. Um, I I gotta be honest, I gotta get that respect to CJ, man. Mm. Uh, bro, hell of a young player, bro. Fuck a young player, hell of a player. Period. Mm. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely a playmaker in that John, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. That second and fourteen that he threw, bro. When he rolled out, bro, I ain't gonna hold you. So look, like, first of all, shit was mad annoying. Ain't nothing worse in the defense than when you get them off schedule. Like you get them first and twenty, second and twenty, third and sixteen, and them yeah. niggas get it. Oh my god, what? It hurt. That hurt. Yeah, that shit hurt, bro. So like, yeah. when you beat, back on the ball, oh my god, you mad as shit on that first down. Like, what the, that's when you get the what the fuck happened? Ooh. On they side of the fifty, you yeah, back on. bro. Look, we covering man to man. I swear to God, I'm on. I'm on a, I'm a uh, Singletary covering man. I see the pocket collapsing. Singletary start you know trying to break free. Scramble drill. I plaster eyes on it. Woo woo. He break. All right, whatever. Then I just see the ball go. I think it's going out of bounds. I'm just watching that bitch. Mm-hmm. Then I see Nico just running for that bitch. I'm nah, ain't no fucking way. He ain't doing. He caught that bitch. I'm like, Singletary just look at me like. That's CJ. Yeah. And that just let me know, like, damn, he be doing shit like that all the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then you go, the crazy part about playing a quarterback like CJ and, and another quarterback is like that is Matt Stafford. He For won't sure. even be looking at the read, and then you know he got about one more look before it get ugly for him. And then he look at your guy, and you didn't play, so like, uh, got your ass. And then this motherfucker look somewhere else and throw the ball for a completion. You like, yes. nah. <laughs> That's what I like about CJ the That's most. That's your third read, nigga. You know how degrading that is for a quarterback to hit his third read? He don't, CJ don't play the rookie games, bro. I peeped that the first time we played him, yeah. though. Like, he don't do rookie shit. Like, he play, like, he he already lying to you with his eyes. He already lying to you with his drop. He already lying to you with his, his shoulder, shoulder movements and, and little shit like that. That's <laughs> some shit that you ain't supposed to really have to, like, year six, seven, buddy. <laughs> okay. Whoever your trainer is, slow down, gang. Doing too much, bro. You mean? <laughs> Pump it up, like, man. Yeah. Let's work on something else, bro. <laughs> Let's hit the ladder or something, bro. You scramble, doing too much. Scramble drill. Yeah, you doing too much. I don't like you. I'm going to go over there, you know what I'm saying, throw a rock at your crib or something. I don't know, man. Y'all tripping over there. But I ain't going to lie, though. It's messed up, though, because I really I really be want, I really wanted that CJAR smoke, bro. I oh, really this year. wanted that, bro. This like, year? Like, all year, like watching CJ grow, and I ain't gonna lie, I'm always rooting for the for the young brother out there. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Sure. Him, Bryce, all of them. I always I want them to be successful, just not against us. But also true. It's just like, damn, I just like I knew I know that's what it's gonna be. Yeah. And it's just like, damn, watching CJ have his moment as he deserved and as he earned. Uh I I want I wanted Anthony. I want I, like I wanted to see Anthony up there too. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. I know the stage was set. Yeah. The stage and, and, and I ain't gonna lie, that's gonna be that's gonna be because I ain't gonna lie, three. like in that moment, it was and that, you feel what I'm saying? In that mm-hmm. moment, in that moment with Devil Singletary, when he like shook his head, like, damn, that's just what CJ be on, like that's the type of shit he do. I know that feeling because I know what I would feel like when the AR do some shit, yeah. And I'd be like, damn, that's the type of shit Young Will be on, yeah. yeah. And like when you got that type of shit, it's spooky out there. It's gangsta. I actually there. like how the NFL promoted that situation though. Okay, with um, company with, man, man. with Bryce. Not even that, bro. Not just even the league. That. I, Thank I'm you, just Steve. saying. I'm just saying it was a respect. I like the way that they handled the situation because they put AR, they put CJ, and they put Bryce on an even playing field no matter where they got drafted. And Facts. it was like, one of y'all going to be, let y'all play speak for itself. And they yeah, let, let them duke it hunt. out. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. They let them duke it out. And I like that. They didn't just pick. You know how to. Yeah, you know how the league get. They just pick somebody and make him the golden boy. For sure, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Not saying that Trevor Lawrence not that, but when Trevor Lawrence came out, he got picked to be the golden boy. He did. He got he picked did. to be the golden boy over all the other quarterbacks that were drafted in his class. Yeah, which was probably deservingly because Trevor Lawrence had a hell of a career at Clemson. Yeah. So, um, but with this situation, they let them all duke it out. They let them all duke it out. 
You feel because I mean saying? honestly, I feel like if you look at and it, I too, feel like it don't stop at this year. I feel like it's gonna be like that with them three for the yeah. next at least five years mm. until one of them separate themselves completely. Yeah. And I think uh, CJ did a good job at it. Ar when he was when he was healthy, he did a good job at it. And Bryce, you know, he going through some shit with his organization. He start, he start getting but warm he early. Yeah, he getting warm late. Yeah, he started getting warm late. Yeah, the throw he made to DJ Chark, I ain't going to lie. I yeah. mean, don't reach, that's what they say. But that was a hell of a throw. I'm like, damn. And it just be fucked up because I feel like watching Bryce, it remind, Bryce rookie year honestly reminded me a lot of Trevor rookie year, to be honest with you. And it was just mm-hmm. like, you got so much turmoil going around you. And, like, the, it's a good and a bad thing with that. Like, that's how I look at it. Mm-hmm. I think it's a good thing because it's kind of like, all right, yeah, you you going through your slugs now. You learning your you learning your, you you learning the stuff while you in it. Like I feel like adversity is making him stronger and tougher. Like Definitely. he going through basically the worst it could get, bro. That's like losing true. your head coach, not having offensive coaches with you. Like you go roll out, you make a great play. That shit end up being a turnover, and I'm like, damn, like that's a great play, great throw by mm-hmm. Bryce. And now you feel me? He end up it end up a highlight for the wrong reason. You get what I'm saying? But right. I right. do like the point that Speed made, though. They definitely allow them three to kind of at least be on a level playing field and, uh, you know, eventually, um, you know, and just kind of letting them run, run their own race, which I feel like was necessary. But I think it was based on who they, who all three of them were. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I think they trusted What you mean? Break it down. I think the NFL, through the process of them getting drafted and stuff, they trusted all three of their personalities. You feel Which, what I'm saying? Like in terms to of to make it to to not to not put one above the other. In terms of Bryce Young and everything that he going to, through, you never seen him jump in the media and complain, right? You feel what I'm saying? Oh, so you saying With that- AR and and his injuries and stuff like that? You never you see him still on the sideline supporting the team. He getting mm-hmm. in the coach cam after wins, mm-hmm. cheering on Gardner, mm-hmm. all this type of stuff. He had that morale. Even mm-hmm. uh, CJ mm-hmm. CJ yeah. Stroud, when you out there with CJ Stroud, CJ. He he uh he a conversate with everybody on the field. No, I hate it. He a conversate with everybody on the field. And I don't know, I nice guy shit. He'll talk his shit if he need to. Yeah. But in respect of the game, he'll he'll sit there and have a conversation and he ain't like, you know, on too, no air. Yeah, too good. Yeah. He, yeah, yeah, he, ain't I, no he down to earth. I'll give you that for shit. sure. Like, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so so you, with all three of their personalities, I think their personalities set their mark for what mm. the NFL wanted to do with all three of them is them being the high draft pick quarterbacks. And they yeah. were just like, you know what? When I brought all three of these guys in and through an evaluation, they all genuine dudes. Mm-hmm. So you for uh, well, so talk, dive on, on, dive in on that a little bit more speed. So do you feel like that the league for how I'm understanding what you're saying is that the league allowed them to have a certain leash mm. as players? Not a leash because that they on like I ain't gonna even put on man, but yeah, yeah, my fault. yeah, yeah, yeah. But they did, they did put the platform up, okay, with trust, and they allowed them to that build. They wouldn't break it. They let them build. Yeah, that they wouldn't yeah, break it because yeah, they yeah, were yeah, the yeah. new generation of quarterbacks. Because right when That's they true. got drafted, it was a tie turn. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It was um, Aaron Rodgers leaving Green, Green Bay. Bay. Yep. Yeah, it was uh, Tom Brady heading out to retirement. Yep. True. It was Russell, Drew Brees heading out to Matt retirement. Ryan. Russell, Russell was leaving Seattle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Yep. So it was like, all right, these are our new staples of new guys coming in when a court when we going through a quarterback change in the league. Okay. What better guys than guys that so down to earth with that situation? Mm-hmm. Now let somebody that ain't really you know what I mean, like a Hyatt, they probably a Nah, let's not give them too much media attention. Okay. Let's not make this a three, a three, a three thing. man thing. Let's just make it the first round pick. Mm, Whoever okay. the first round pick, let's make him the go with mm. boy or whatever. Or this guy that's on. in the big market. Yeah, exactly. Okay. okay. So mm-hmm. that's just respect to those guys. And like, you know what I mean? Some people try to make not even excuses, but some people put a stigma on what's going on. And some people, sometimes that shit hold true. I yeah. Don't cap is, like it don't. Is that important? But, is that important for moving forward? In, in Show, society of the new quarterbacks, uh, of, well, it, to your to your point, like the league allowing that to like even take place, is that important to be able to be like, hey, you know, these guys, we think that these guys can move the pendulum in terms of like how their character, the yeah. way they play, the way they do certain things. We do like if guys are doing what they're supposed to be doing, we let them, like you said, we let them build. Nah, exactly. Let them do their thing. At the end of the day, they, the NFL job is to protect the shield. In a way, like mm. you know what I mean. Yeah. I always look at it as like, like when I talk about the NFL or whatever like that. I always look at it like, what if this was my business? If mm. this was my mm. business and you came in and you was kind of like, character was bad. You not, I ain't letting you be the face of my. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just a hundred. Like yeah. we ain't even talking about you know this or that. Like we talking about a mm-hmm. hundred. Mm. Like 
so, but those three guys, they came in and they've been nothing but stand up guys in the league since they got here. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I ain't they gonna lie. Know, I ain't gonna lie. Down game. I ain't gonna lie too, like what he said too. Like, and when I say I hate it, I'm not saying like, I hate that CJ is down to earth. Bro, but stop. He won't be so. <laughs> can I can I explain ahead, myself? Bro. Go can ahead, I explain though. myself? Because you CJ. know what's behind it. I, hey, you know what's I'm about to walk, it. I'm about to walk my way to some CJ <laughs> love. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. He, he beat my ass he on Saturday. Did I not like him a little bit? God damn it. Nah, Why is he trying to turn me up? He beat my ass. CJ, I'm not happy about the second of 14, even though I was impressed. I'm like, God damn. This nigga nice. I didn't want that to happen. But what I will say is, it's just, and that's what I was saying, like, I respect it. And the thing is, it's crazy. I'm always rooting for the young brothers, bro. Like, yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. I really am. Like, Bryce, uh, CJ, obviously Anthony, even if he wasn't on our team, I want them to see. They the mm-hmm. new face of the of the league, bro. I yeah. love that the league making this turn, not only just to, you know, young black quarterbacks, but just because I know what that's going to do for the game and for future generations. Just, you know, that representation is important for our young boys. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Seeing young boys. And honestly, all three of them really carried in a different way, which is tough. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. Um, so I just, not only am I rooting for them because of that, but, uh, you know what I mean? Like I said, he just, he a hell of a player, but uh, it just be weird. Like when you rooting for a motherfucker to be successful, but like, I, I told you, I don't I like don't. people that I go against. Like yeah. after the game, we could be cool. Like after the game, we cool. Or the field, of, and, but I be feeling bad, like trying CJ. I be feeling like, but I don't, I don't really, I don't really try. Go well, it depends what quarterback it is. I, ain't, I be at Trevor, but. <laughs> that's but, a, that's a lot of that's a yeah, lot. Yeah, but no, nah, it's just like it don't be like that. I just I just like the competition of it. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> I, I, I big beefing with my man Dalton Schultz. Yeah, big beefing yeah. all week, all week. I'm, I'm, I'm talking. I'm, I'm right at it career, for the rest of my rest career. career. Yeah. He pieced it up with me. God damn it! <laughs> and I totally respect. I the hate that. Play. He pieced it up. Yeah, he did the same. We thing. cool again. Yeah, I'm at mad the, shit about at the that. PA. Yeah, he a PA <laughs> stepper. He's a, he a little, we had the PA. I, I got some people, motherfuckers, that I, uh, I like be that, sitting with our families together in the PA and shit. But this the thing though with Dalton Schultz situation. He did rectify the way he was acting in the game, and I totally understood it because he was like, the way he was acting in the game, you know, I was beefing down there the whole game, like, da-da-da, you feel me? <laughs> and he came after the game, and he was like, like, bruh, it's no, you know, I just love competing against y'all. Y'all got a good linebacker's core. I respect it. So I was like, that's the same thing that I say when I be barking at D. Back. Henry yeah. or nah, I bark nah. at a good running yeah. back. So I got to understand it. made it. me respect them and love it. But my only problem with that is because I had the mm. same situation with Evan Ingram. And I ain't going to lie. Evan Ingram, in my opinion, I think he's one of the most underrated tight ends in the league. I don't think yeah. he get talked about enough. Yeah. That Definitely. motherfucker is ultra athletic. Yeah. Like, he don't get talked about enough. And he tough. Yeah. Yeah, and he tough. That's another thing. He ain't sweet. Yeah, he ain't. But it's like, I piece it up with him and we cool. And then uh, <laughs> we play in Jacksonville. They, they up and shit. I'm mad and shit. You feel me? He catch a check down, rock, boom. He good hit. No, stop. No. Don't do that. Don't no. Do that. Stop do that. doing that. Be mad. Don't do that. No. <laughs> and now I got to nudge you with some shit. Now I got to, do you feel me? Because I got to get, no, don't do that. I don't, I don't like shit like that. Now and now good. I feel like I'm in the danger zone with Dalton and shit. <laughs> Cause Shout out to Dalton, be, though, man. No, he hollered at me at the end of the See, game. The no, he know, he know I, I just love competing against him. I ain't going to lie. So when I first met Dalton, we was at the PA, mm. uh, Bobby, homie. Shout out to Bobby O. Bobby O okay. went crazy you know, this K-K. year. Hold on. Hold on. Shout out to that boy, Bobby O. Shout first and foremost, K-K. bro. Yeah, he's really, really him. Really putting on. I, I don't know what he is. What he said, Trace Bates. I ain't gonna hold you too. Four, he four speed, forced fumbles, two sacks. He got two sacks. No, he got two more sacks. He got another sack on uh, yeah, Saturday. Yeah, that was, so he that three was three. Sacks. Yeah, so he, he three have. sacks, four forced fumbles, three sacks, and I believe it's nine or ten TFLs. Yeah. Damn. Going silly. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Bobby O. Going silly. Shout out to Bobby O. Shout out to all the guys. D. Leonard, A. Walk, mm-hmm. Matt, Matt. Shout out to Matt, Matt with the force with fumble. The force fumble. With the force slide. fumble slide. Hold on, air horn for the. Just got off the phone with that boy. Yeah, shout out to Matt, Matt. Yeah, <laughs> Matt I, hope, I hope you did air screen. Hilarious. Yeah, bro. Matt, funny as shit. I already know type time. He on in the playoffs. He about that crazy. He about to walk out there with no shirt on. <laughs> oh my god. But I ain't gonna hold you. Shout out to the LBs too. I ain't gonna lie. We need to keep that turnover shit going. I shout gotta out drop that in the chat. A. Walk. Yeah, A-Walk, for sure. They going D-Lenic. to the playoffs. He headed yeah. to the playoffs, yeah, going too. to the playoffs. Yeah, Eagles Bobby O. to the playoffs. Yes, sir. All yes, the sir. guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, no, nah, yeah. I met, I, met, I met Dalton at the PA. Okay. Uh, he had just uh, got the franchise tag. Uh, he was in Dallas. You know, big money boy. Then we played in Dallas. 
And we just be competing all the time, bro. He just, you feel me? It's just, it's certain people, especially when y'all in the division, bro. We about to see y'all twice a year. Yeah. We both play uh, competitive positions. I'm about to see you, bro. Like, but the thing is, it just be like, I want your best. But a lot of times when I'm trash talking to you, talking to you, or I'm, you feel me? I'm challenging you. It's because I respect your game. Mm. And to be honest with you, I feel like, uh, with most people, sometimes I don't respect your game. I'll be honest with you. But <laughs> with most people, though, it's sometimes it's like I'm giving you the best version of me. I want the best version of you. Right. So like that's really what it be. Uh, yeah. but uh, yeah. shout out to all the shout out to all the guys out there that don't get sensitive to trash talk, bro, and, and that we can keep it pee. And, and guess what? <laughs> After the game, if we can't hug it out, speak what's on your mind. Keep the beef. Speak what's on your mind. But keep it going. We ain't got I think a, we ain't got the best thing. part about Schultz is. He made me respect it because a lot of, a lot of like, mm-hmm. white. Yeah. I can say it. Mm-hmm. A lot of white boys. Yeah, they get sensitive. They get sensitive they and be do. like, "Why are you like, like you know what I mean?" Bro, what do you mean, bro? Darden was at it though. Like you feel what I'm <laughs> yeah, saying? He, he was he at some it. Shit. No, he said some was, shit. Y'all fucking can't even tackle. Whoa, whoa. And he wasn't. And the crazy thing was, <laughs> he wasn't crying to the rough. Okay. Yeah, yeah. When it yeah, was beef yeah, and yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. Don got his push back, his push after the play, <laughs> and I pushed him back or whatever like that, he yeah. ain't flop. Okay. He ain't look at the ref, so I'm like, all right, you feel me? I can respect I can respect your gangster. I can respect now if I push back and you get the flop and then try and bet for a flag, now, now you I can't even rock with you. Now I can't even rock with you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This ain't even real. Okay, okay, okay. Um is it is it time or has it been enough time to ask the question about mm-hmm. how you guys feel like you graded graded the defense this year? Nah, mm-hmm. let's not. Before we get to that. Okay. Before we get to that. The last play. Oh, we we there. Okay. Okay. Four for one. Four for one. It's crazy, though, because <laughs> we on the sideline. We watching it. First of all, I really liked how they played the game. To mm-hmm. be honest, when you playing mm-hmm. against a quarterback that – Making plays like CJ is, fuck that. Don't get that nigga the ball back okay. for a minute. Like we, about okay. to, we about to drain this whole clock out. We about to go for it. We about, man, we about to, you know what I'm saying? We about to get this get the tug and leave them nothing goal. left. Mm-hmm. Field goal. Yeah, I, like, I like that whole in- energy. Okay. It's crazy because like, at a certain point, they crossed that 30. We like, oh, shit, here it is. Okay. It's the game. We stand up. I look at speed. I'm like, uh, on the third, it was third and, it was at the third and one. Or third and two when JT got one yard. He, JT, we see JT coming out, me and Speed. JT coming and stand right between me and Speed. I see, I look at Speed, I said, Speed, ain't it crazy how the whole season, everything that you've been through, highs, lows, ups and downs, everything about to come down to this one play. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I, had to, I had to take a knee more. I'm about to throw out my stomach. <laughs> and shit like that. Damn. But, and the crazy thing is, Ooh. when I seen JT come out and I seen T Good come in, I'm like, all right, baby, we about to go to the pit. But I go to downs. Yeah. I would have left the nigga open too. Just because you like you thinking in that moment, you thinking players not plays. Yeah. So the fact that you threw to a player that they wasn't thinking about was actually a good joint. Sure. It was a tough, tough, tough situation, bro. Like I don't my thing is, and I think that's what it kind of come down come down to. Like we mentioned earlier about the first play of the game. Yeah. Man, it's just for me personally, this is me. For I just feel like it's so important in them moments, bro, to when uh, you got a teammate that not only feel like they let down, you know, whether it's the team, the organization, the city, but they let themselves down. Mm-hmm. You got to build them up, bro. You got to love them up, bro. Mm-hmm. I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't a big fan of that. Like, I ain't a big fan of, like... If I'm if I'm if I'm gonna come celebrate you when you take the the, the uh, Cleveland Power with Quentin running in front of you against Pittsburgh and you take that bitch thirty yards and you running motherfuckers over and you coming in and you cooking in Pittsburgh you cooking in against Vegas you making plays that's gonna help the team well like, we was on the road and he was cooking I think it was Cincinnati, Cincinnati you yeah. making plays out there if I'm gonna dap you up every time you do that but then when you drop the you drop a rock or something like that now I'm I'm gonna act like you ain't my man like I ain't I ain't with that. Yeah, that like, that's not how I move. I'm, I'm, I'm going to come seek you out every way. And the thing about T. Good is, like I always say, bro, like, T. Good really one of my young boys mm-hmm. on the team, bro. Like, yeah. that's a young boy that we really be in the grind together. Like, to be honest, when I was going through, you know, my highs and lows of the season, T. Good was somebody that I, 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 I could talk to about that. Mm. I'm damn, bro. I'm still whoop, whoop about that shit. He, man, fuck that shit, bro. Come on, bro. You got that. Like, whoop, whoop. Like, we bigger and better. You feel me? He putting the battery in my back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Great young boy. Tough moment. 
Yeah. But, you know what I mean? Bigger and better things and in the I ain't future. Gonna hold. If we could do it again, I'll throw that ball to T good again. I promise you. I would make the same call, he same ain't situation. Not one-on-one. He not ducking no one-on-one smoke Mm-mm. in practice. Mm-mm. He scout team running back. Mm-hmm. Toting. Yeah. Like, you feel what I'm saying? When we had the pads on and stuff like that, you hit T good, bro. He coming back toting like we back in camp. Like, mm. yeah, stop yeah. playing with me like that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. With no complaints, though. Like, he ain't, he ain't getting mad because he got hit one play. And getting up jaw and trying to start a fight in practice or nothing like that. Like, he, all right. Yeah. Back on the ball. Now he running at you. Now you got to, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like, one-on-one is competing. Yeah. I'm going against T-Good every time out the backfield. You know he remind me of? He reminded me of Jordan Wilkins. Mm. Mm. He reminded Jordan. me. He gave Side me Jordan Jay Wilkins. 2018, yes, sir. Because Jordan Wilkins was like Ole how Miss, yes, sir. was. He was a third back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but came to practice every day. He wasn't going to let nobody... Yeah. Do nothing to him. He get in one on ones, whatever like that. He love to compete. And he whatever with it. Oh, you want me to line up here? What's up? Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So, so I throw that ball to Jordan Wilkins and I throw that ball to T Good. Same people in my book. And yeah. one play don't determine the whole fucking game. Come on, cuz. Like, we ain't gonna sit here and just put the whole yeah, weight of everything on the seat. Now, like I said, I said at the speed only just to just to say, like, it, it is, it was a it's a crazy situation to kind of think like and I think we we talked about this before. Like it's just like all the things that you fought through, all the adversity you fought through. It just it either is justified or it don't matter mm-hmm. based off of one game. It, yeah, no, no, no. It, it is. It is truly. It's a it's a fair statement because it's truly a culmination moment. Yeah, it is very. Yeah. It is truly a culmination moment. Like this, this could be it. Mm-hmm. See, but I ain't gonna hold. My goal for next season is to not get to that point. Mm. Yeah, be saying? already on some clinch shit. Cause okay. I ain't even on no shits where I'm ducking the smoke on that point or whatever like that. I yeah, said yeah, we're yeah. not capable of. But didn't have a to lot be of there. shit that happened during that season that where you didn't have to be at that, In that point, situation. You feel what I'm saying? That's so, a fact. To put it all on either Gardner or or T. Good in that situation, or anybody throughout the game, even our first play. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You feel know what I'm saying? To put mm-hmm. it all on that, it's like, well, we're going to dismiss everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, for the present. Yeah, like, exactly. we ain't going to, yeah, exactly. you feel me? We ain't going to focus on the future nor the past and just the present in this situation of, you feel what I'm saying? Which present is most likely the most important thing, but let's not degrade. This is a team effort. This is for an organizational sure. effort. 100%. Yeah. So everybody got to pull their weight for us to get where we want to be because the goal was never to make it. To, to, that, to that first, to that play, to that yeah, yeah, yeah the goal was never make it to speed. that play or make that's it to the first speed. round of the playoffs. That's the goal speed. was to make it to a championship. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, not even did we not did we drop the ball to make it to the playoffs? We dropped the ball on making it to a championship. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And winning it all because that's like the pinnacle of this football shit. Yeah, yeah. The kid Let's not that get did, that man. You the feel kid what I'm that did. Yeah, for sure, for, for sure. sure. Well said, sure. well said, Speed. So I'm gonna get right into it then. So, what's your top moment from the season? Top moment. Personal or team? Both. Both? Yeah, Jinx. both. Team you was two soda. on. Can you jinx another grown man? Is that a part? The, that's not a good job? Mm, we can't do that? Not that's 2023, bro. Team was two you on. Uh, team was two on in Tennessee. Uh, okay. And I'm a little salty. Uh, D-Long wasn't there because I want to see him. I'm a little salty. He in Miami. You feel me? Shout out to them boys. They doing their thing. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> shit, team <laughs> was Miami. Two on them boys. Personal. Shit. Personal, personal, personal. Personal would have been that fucking Cleveland play. Well, that I would say, I would say crazy. the answer, that would be your worst moment, huh? So that has to be my worst moment because it got called back. Mm. But mm. for some reason, I envisioned myself like I made the play and we won the game. That's, but, that's how you're supposed to look at it. And yeah, other than that, what was the, the best play? Just that whole Pittsburgh game, I was in the zone. He was. I was in the zone. Hey, bro, Dad, why you still in still my zone, bro? Why you still in my zone, bro? I was in the zone at Pittsburgh game. Yeah. Like, I felt good, and it was just like. One of them days. Feel? One of them days. I felt days. like I was like. In the Matrix. In the Matrix, mm-hmm. like some samurai shit. Like, mm-hmm. I'm just going through this joint, and it's mm-hmm. like anything that I want to do right now can happen. Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. like, you know. Yeah. How you feel about how Lamar said, I, I totally understand what Lamar talking about. He was like, if you in the zone, and you know you in the zone, you ain't really in the zone. Yeah. You feel what I I'm think saying? about that all the time, you, and, I, and I hate shit like that. Because I ain't going to hold, when I'm in the zone, nigga, I feel like I'm in the zone, man. Yeah, but I, I know, but if, if you no, in the, no, when you're in the zone, you can't sit and think, damn, I'm in the zone right now. Mm-hmm. As soon as you think about that, you up. Mm-hmm. You awaken. Oh, me? Yeah. I ain't going to hold, you're that's so in the zone, goes. you're just so in the tune. Like, you just like, it's just like, yeah. you, you focus on, like, I remember, bro, like, 
probably not this year. I would probably say the most in the zone I probably was is when we played Philly last year, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, when we played Philly mm-hmm. last year, bro, like, my, my whole mind, my whole being was, like, it was just to beat the fucking Eagles. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just grew up playing, watching niggas so many times, <laughs> and I finally got the real joint. Yeah, I had to, enough. like, you feel me? And I just remember being so wrapped up in the situation that I wasn't even really privy to what was even happening. Like, mm-hmm. you don't even, mm-hmm. you go, like, when you in the zone like that, you look back like, damn, I didn't even know I fit the power like that up in the third yeah, quarter. I'm actually crazy. tripping out I just got to get there. <laughs> the crazy part there. about that whole statement is, like, when he was like, you don't really know you in the zone, it was kind of... That's why I really don't celebrate too much after I make like my first, first, second, or third play of the game or whatever like that. I got to be up like a few scores and we got to be just totally dogging the motherfucker before I start celebrating. Because like as soon as I make that play, I be like, nigga, I'm trying to capture that zone. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? You should tap But I feel into like it. if I start showboating or something like that, I'm taking away from all the energy that I just built up off that. Because you know like when you make a play, you create like a whole new energy. Mm, I be yeah. trying to like, Capture oh. energy in. I feel like my celebrations let that shit out in a, yeah. in a sense. Mm. And then so I just gotta be on some you. subtle shit. But like, I don't yeah. agree. Well, I ain't gonna say I don't agree. I'm a different. I'm different. Yeah. But I, what I will say is, I do get it though. We uh on the on the seven route where I cover uh, Dalton and had the uh, PBU. Yeah. Bro, I was cussing him out so bad on the way back to the huddle. I was out of breath. I'm like, hold on, Z. You got to stop talking so much shit. Dude. You got to breathe. <laughs> I'm out of here yelling at this nigga yelling, bro. the whole time. Yo, that's ah, I fucking told you. You ain't getting... I'm talking <laughs> greasy the whole time. But you time. said that shit during meetings, though, too. No, I told him he you wasn't... You had that I'm, pressure built up. No, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about like throughout the week. You yeah, had that pressure no, built up. Yeah, no, I did. I, all, all week, I was letting yeah, it be known. Like, yeah, crazy. he can't catch a pass on me. But... Uh, I see. Look at now. He walking me right back into the beat. And all the I smoke. just said we got cool. You walking and me right all back the, into look, it. all the smoke. Uh, let me say nah, but I, I ain't gonna lie. Like for me, uh, celebrating that to me is just like I don't know. That's just a part of my energy, though. Like when I'm barking at you, mm-hmm. when I say like I remember when we played Cleveland, uh, they ran a little power or something like that, and uh, Ford thought he was gonna outrun me to the sideline. I just grabbed his ass and dumped him. Looked at the coaches like I'm the best in the league. Stop trying me like that, nigga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And take you up. Ain't nothing yeah, like it's looking like, at I'm, take me yeah, up. I'm acting hey, different. Like, ain't nothing like looking at them boys. Yeah, coach, when, you, when you start when you start popping shit at the coaches, that's when you really that's when you know you really on yeah. some shit that they like. Nah, because guess what? Do something about it. And I just said something to you. Yeah. I'm not scared of y'all over here in headsets. Yeah, you start popping at <laughs> yeah. the coach. Yeah, you start talking crazy to the coaches. That's when you really. Yeah. But hey, look, bad it up because they start, they gonna start. Yeah, they gonna start oh, where? All right, bet. No, right, right. What they did? A flea flicker tight end screen. Oh, I said, yeah. bro, where yeah. is the ball? You want on one on the back? Don't worry about it. Screen. Will. Whoa. Huh? Screen. Over. Whoa. Same, same whoa. side belly. Yeah. <laughs> same side belly. Whoa. Yeah, 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 they start getting good. You be like, all right, yeah. oh, I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to the GA to get back. Yeah, 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 not you. Uh, <laughs> for not sure. Uh, let me think. Uh, top moment of the league. I'm at of the, of the, of the year. year. Of the year. For me, uh, top moment was Germany. Mm. Was Germany, man. I ain't gonna lie. That was like, individual team. Oh, for me, that was individual. That was individual. Okay. Uh, top moment as a team. Um. I hate that it was so early, but one of my favorite moments was Baltimore mm. as a team. Beating Baltimore. Okay. Uh, and I would say only because I just felt like um, it was early. Um, that was our first game without – well, Anthony didn't play. That was our first game without him, I think. Because I think he's Baltimore. Saw, yeah, yeah, he didn't yeah. play against he Houston. Got, Baltimore was week yeah, three. Yeah, that home game. Yeah, yeah, so – yeah, so, it was like Gardner was there. I feel like we rallied behind it. Uh, you know, no AR, no JT. Zach had a day. Obviously going against a great team that we knew was a great team back then. We stood tall. The LBs had a day. Mm-hmm. I cooked. Speed cooked. Mm-hmm. d Lena got off. We all was doing our thing. And it was overtime. It was just a motherfucking battle, bro. And, like, that's when I first realized that we had a team that was resilient. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, that's the first time I realized, like, all right, we got a team that's going to be willing to fight through whatever for however long because, shit, we going back and forth. Field goal there. They get a field goal. Then, you know, EOGs. It was just it was just a whole lot of shit. Like, that game just required a lot of us. Yeah. Uh, so, and I, I remember just getting to the locker room, and it was just like, I feel like that win, for us at least, at that time as a young team, uh, missing uh, our young QB and 
our best offensive player in JT at the yeah. time, that gave us the confidence to know, like, all right, shit, we, we really could run with it, whoever. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Especially on the road. Uh, and then that Germany, John, bro, just for me, like, man, that shit was just, that was a culmination, bro. Like, we ain't never reached, we ain't reach it. Like, what do you say? We never got it. But, yeah. like I said, bro, from North Philly to Germany, bro. Tough. 7 a.m. in Germany. Can't, can't believe, believe that they heard of me. Like, gee, shit, they got me on a poster out here. Yeah. That's different. Yeah. And it was just like out there, we playing, we playing against New England. Uh, another game where I, I feel like, like Speed said, I'm just in the matrix. I'm just in the zone. I'm in I'm in the game. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's like, uh, what's that fucking, uh, what's not the, uh, even though I'm not a fan of remakes, even though we is going to get into this color purple, but. The new Jumanji. You know how you play the, the new Jumanji oh, and they yeah. jump into they the jump video the game. game? That's how I'm in the game. Like, yeah. you get me. what I'm saying? I'm the player. You feel <laughs> me? I'm player one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was just a good jump, bro. That uh, that Germany game uh, and that whole experience was just super dope for me. Shout out to E. Shout out to Tish. Uh, mm. Just was a great, great moment for me. Uh, worst moment uh, other than Houston. Uh, <laughs> I'd probably just say... <laughs> Well, I guess worst moment for it's got to be for me, huh? Yeah. Uh, damn, I probably say Atlanta, bro. Atlanta, what's tough? Yeah, man, I just that bitch was emotional. Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta mm-hmm. was just. I, I even talking to the coaches about it, like the day, like and all the wrap up shit. It was just like I think I don't remember who was it Smith or it was somebody I just we briefly mentioned I don't know who it was I briefly mentioned Atlanta we were just talking about it and it was just like yeah Atlanta was just some stupid shit like Hmm. we just got beat and everything I think I was talking to Shane about it but it was just like uh, you know it was just one of them situations where it was just like man just couldn't get nothing right you know can't get right like you know what I mean one of them these niggas can't get wrong you hear me (laughs) (laughs) Bijan Pitts New New all of them. They're everybody uh Drake London there, they doing spanky. Yeah, they they getting off. So that's probably where it was. But I ain't gonna lie, man, it's crazy at this time of year though. Like you get to this point and now you like, you feel me? You looking back. You know, you be so caught up in where you at in that moment. Like we say it's a week to week league, so you just so caught up in the narrative of the week or yeah. not, not like not the highs and lows of the season, but uh you just get kind of caught up in in the moments. Like, all right, right now, this is our moment. We and it's like, all right, it didn't go what we want. Now we at that point where it's time to stop, turn around, look back, and reflect on all the work that you put in, and look at the. It's almost like a, it's almost like a paint a picture you painting. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or, or 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 a chapter that was written. Yeah. And uh, you know, the whole time you just going like you know what I mean. You ever be uh, typing out an essay for school and yep. you just get in that flow and, and you on. just. Uh, you just, you know what I'm saying? You just cooking. You spell checking. You just cooking. Like, and then you get to look back. Damn, I done did four pages? Come on. Hey, look, no double space. You know what I'm saying? No, that's crazy. You you really a graduate. Uh, I'm double, double no, space. Double you know what I'm saying? I'm, and I'm, I'm cheating. Uh, and you copy and paste there. Oh, my. my point, double oh my. with the point five. Like, I'm, <laughs> that means I'm changing the margins. <laughs> yeah, I'm changing the margins. Like The saves of the font of the, uh, the periods? What? Oh my way. god. We giving up we giving up too much we giving up too much game out here, huh? Yeah, free Young boys still in school. Yeah, they yeah. got the NIL, they be all right. Yeah, no. Speaking of that. Speaking of that. Speaking of that what? Speaking of that what? Don't hey man look. Speaking of that what? Speaking of that NIL. Speaking of that what? I'm barking at you. That NIL money, and I'm that NIL at you. money hit. That NIL money hit. Hey, look, bro, world. We can talk about it right now. Since we, everybody want to get so we we, get we updated speed a little bit. When he walked in. Right. But main man over here been arguing with me all day. And Brian. No. Names on the names on the Shout out to the production name, team. Shout out to Brian. Shout out to Bram. Names on it. Uh all right. shout out to Keith. Hey. <laughs> my man to my left. <laughs> I got his bag at my front. <laughs> this guy over here thinks Marvin shouldn't declare for the draft. Or he think he should, he think he he think he thinks it's better off for him to take I think nil it's a money plausible whether idea. whether, whether it's Glass twenty million or twelve million or whatever the hell it is I don't know what number fake number they making up for uh, Instagram yeah, uh, sure. uh, graphics nowadays uh, yeah. he thinks it's better for young yeah, Marvin yeah. to go back to Ohio State because he hasn't beaten Michigan like yeah. anybody gives a fuck yeah keep that here don't say that in the world somebody, what somebody might jump on you yeah. 
I, I said that I thought, and I do think that it was a thought or a plausible idea that Marvin would stay. I Are keep you just rocking to... with him because he said that? Because I think something came out where he said that he wanted to stay and win a championship or something. Like that. No, 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 no. I'm saying, I'm saying that because I, I, I am in the percent of that actually being a idea that works. There's on, no bro, positives or coming Marvin, back to tell college. Tell me, bro. Tell Marvin, me Marvin, 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 let that go. Speed. Look. Tell me, tell me what? Wh- why? Why would you not even think that that would be something that he make a decision? Because to do? he is talented enough to play against NFL guys right now. And do what? Besides the money, as a competitor, you have work, dog. You are ready to play against NFL players right now. Your film speaks for it. Your mental mindset speaks for it. Go I, make your money. Well, money ain't even a thing for Marvin because, you know, he more of a competitor than he cares about money. I can understand that based on what he said about him going back. If he did say that, because I think I read it like on Instagram or something. Yeah. What he said about going back and winning the, and beating Michigan and winning. And then from us talking to Paris, I totally understand the beef behind that whole thing. And it's bigger than, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, a lot yeah. of shit. Deep in yeah. the rap. So, yeah, yeah. So, I totally understand, but... I ain't now, you know, he got his own, he a grown man, but like in my eyes. Leave, like, leave, leave. Come on, dog. Come to the league. Come it's this, okay. Come get this work, dog. What? It's okay. You don't come, need geology come, 234. So this, it don't matter. He going to class. Work, Let it go. He going to class? Is he going to class? He probably No, yeah. he no. probably should. No. I think he should. Go to School class. Of hard bro. knocks. Hey, yo. Go this to is, class, oh, wait, bro. Wait, so th- this is this is this was my, my stance is that I on I believe, and if if it if the fake number is twenty, the real number is twelve. Let's just say that the real number is twelve. I honestly believe that he put in the sweat equity for the last three years to help him to do what he needs to do to be able to cash in on what he did. Period. But this is the point that you keep missing, bro. What part of him like? He gonna cash out going to the league. Right. That young boy already did his pro day. I keep to last year he did his pro day. But if you think they all pulled up and wasn't watching Maserati Mar running them routes, my dog already put the work in, bro. He don't got to work out. He don't got to run. He really didn't even got to go do a top thirty visit he with none of y'all niggas nothing. outside the top five. He's going to get paid yeah, thirty million guaranteed at signing in about three or four months. It's coming. It's, Marvin, it's, it's over with. It's Marvin. This is my thing to you. If that's there. Right, and we're saying that's there for Marvin. He has that. He has that ceiling. How, however, you see it, and we can we can get to the draft too. So I'm gonna stay here first. Then we go to the draft. I honestly think that him cashing in just on this particular venture, because mm-hmm. I'm seeing his business. I'm not seeing it as being a player at all in in its entirety. Him cashing in on this business and that money being there. Why would I not take this loose money on the table? Lose money because there's a bigger deal for you waiting in With advance. Risk. And exactly, there's what you no mean? positive to coming I don't back even to college. Put bro. no juju or nothing in the air, but it's hella risk yeah, with that. He has nothing that, to gain by going back, bro. He got hella risk with that twelve, bro. Yeah, he got hella risk with that twelve. And what I keep trying to explain to you, the NFL, <laughs> the NFL is a is a clock, bro. The faster he can get into the league and get off that rookie contract. The sooner he'll get to the second one. And guess what? The second one. Young Bull going top five. Really top three. If Chicago made the right decision, he might go number one. He could. So my thing is, is just, bro, the faster he get in, guess what? He going to get that four-year deal with a fifth-year option. They going to use the option. At 23, he going to Come on, bro. Can he, I get my projection at on? At 23, he going to be walking to 60. That's what I'm saying. He going, and, and the receiver market booming. Well, well, who I think he is booming. But but that's based booming. on. But that's ba- first of all, that's it's based on projection. Now. That's based on Imagine projection. Imagine five years. But from it's now. based. But that's based on projection. He though. might be getting he's the guaranteed. Deal. He's guaranteed if he did if he decided to stay. One Marvin ain't. I am counting his pockets, but he ain't hurting. He's a son of a millionaire. Yeah, but you don't know how that shit play. Like, you feel what I'm saying? But he won his own pay. Yeah, his he pop- got it. They just told him they was gonna give him twenty. Off the strength, you didn't have to. You, ain't, you didn't have to move. I don't have to do anything else, and y'all are gonna give me twenty million dollars if I sign. Yeah, explain to me, hold on. Explain to me what you think he gains by going back to Ohio State. What does he gain? Twenty M's. That's it, bro. You can't say money because there's more money in the NFL. Let's just it's start. It's more there. endorsements in the NFL. It's also. more money in the NFL. So let's it's just start more, there. It's not. He's not getting more money. So it's what more else work. Is he it's more work. This is this is my stand. It's more work to do to cash in on what he could potentially be. 
And that's a fact. That he, it's more work for him to do to cash in in the league on what he can potentially be. Like Speed said, in five, he gets 60. By sitting down in an office for NIL deal today, on what, what the fuck did, what's today? The, the 8th of January, if he decides to go to Ohio State office and say, hey, bro, I'm coming back. As soon as he etches his name there, he's signing for what he already did, which is for 20 mil. I'm confused what you think he got to do to get that 30 exactly. million guarantee. Bro. He has to play in the league. No, he does not. He's getting drafted. The draft is in April, bro. It's January. The draft is in April. He's going to get drafted top three, top five. Mm. So, all right. That That is guaranteed. So, this is is what I'm saying. This is how I'm thinking about it. And like I said, I could be wrong, but this is how I feel. If I sign, granted, and taking into account what Speed said, all, all health to you. If I sign right now for 20 mil, even if I don't beat or I don't beat Michigan, I don't do none of that shit. I sign for 20. The next year, in two years, I made 50. When I had to wait for when I had to wait five. But it's a no, it's, no, it's a it's a it's a, a, risk, it's, a it's a father clock on this shit, bro. Like yeah. you feel what I'm saying? The 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 younger you are and the better you are, the more money Valuable you make you in the league. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You want to get in the league so as young plans, as possible. Do you realize bro. that they look at like let's say like they was going to go get a running back out of college. They look at snap counts. Yes, that he had in college. In college. Okay. That's college alone. They look yeah. at like oh he had 4 years of snap counts. Like you feel what I'm saying? Okay. So now his snap counts is low, he young. He going to walk into the league with 30 at, at signing. He going to walk into the league with endorsements mm-hmm. going crazy. Mm-hmm. Okay. He going to get endorsements for his his family just off his name. Exactly. Harrison, so like he putting the family on, he putting him on, like you feel what I'm saying? The family been on because his pops had a successful career too. For sure. Like you feel what I'm saying? So legend. Now he just, you feel me now, he just piling on. And in the NFL, the way the NFL is working, like you feel what I'm saying? He coming in as a rookie expected to be, you feel me, the guy. But if he go to the teams that's lined up, now if Chicago do the right thing, like Z said, you feel what I'm saying? Who, DJ Moore? What? Yeah. He, he a two. <laughs> he coming in as a as a two competing for a one with DJ Moore. Like you feel you what I'm saying? Or and him and DJ together, that's a perfect situation for him, bro. Oh, he go to and Arizona. He got Justin. With, with, with and he got Justin. He got a better in quarterback. Justin only gonna get better as yeah. time go on. And I don't yeah. even think I think Justin is a hell of a quarterback. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I really don't understand what they got going. I don't understand I, what they talking about now. The offensive scheme or whatever like that. Terrible. As a defensive player, terrible, I don't terrible. know what they got terrible. going. As a defensive player, I would love to play against the offensive scheme. <laughs> Especially hey, with Justin. I hate to play against Justin, but yeah. I love to play against the offensive if you gonna scheme. Put, if you're going to put Justin in the eye formation with a fullback That's and one, cool. one receiver, That's let's do it every cool. day. Let's do it. Every day. Wow. But if you put that motherfucker over there with Marvin Harris and DJ Moore, you but see what I'm they saying? Gotta this they got to commit. They got a couple guys. They got a couple guys But this is my question based on, based on what we were talking about and the projection and also to what I was saying in terms of him being able to cash in on whatever is now and in the league. Mm. Are we saying that Marvin is in his position, he is the best or he is generational? Because if he's, gen- he's if, being pegged as generational. Yeah, he's, if he's generational, then why is the money not there? What when money I, whenever there? I go, if whenever I go. All right, this what one money I'm, this- isn't there? Well, I'm saying, I'm saying, if the money, if let me, let me, let me go. He's saying, he's saying, if he's generational talent, and if he's such a sure thing, why wouldn't he go back to college, grab that twelve, because that thirty should be waiting for you next year. That father time is a no, but hold on, this is what you don't understand, bro. More than the the timing, more than the generational thing. Coaches, GMs, scouts, fans, everybody, Cairo. Everybody loves the new toy, bro. Exactly. And regardless of how good you are Some and other how, you know what I'm saying, productive or talented you may be, somebody's going to come along and they might do the same shit you did. Or they might do it a little worse than you. But guess what? They knew. Get it and while they hot. they tired of playing your highlights. They tired of seeing your mm-hmm. shit. I mean, there's so many, so many reverses and jump balls and and one handed. You feel me? They didn't see you do all your shit in that Ohio State. I don't even. I forget what the colors it is, but the crimson. crimson. I don't, yeah, yeah. I mean, they didn't see the Buckeye. You didn't. You got so many damn stickers on your helmet, nigga. You need four different helmets. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You done went crazy. They gonna care about the new toy. Prime example is Caleb Williams, bro. Caleb Williams won the Heisman. Okay. As a sophomore, right? Right. Yeah. I would say 
Every, we all can agree, and I know maybe this wasn't his most productive year, but we all can agree that Mahomes is the best QB in the league. Yeah. yeah. He's the best replica of that that we've seen coming up. In college. Uh, you know, they only yeah. want th- the next version of what they got is hot, so they see Mahomes as the best. They look at Caleb, okay, he's doing the same thing, makes the same throw. Ooh. Caleb's a hell of a fucking player, bro. But because he already got the Heisman, he already did, did all the shit, we didn't already see you drop the ball, roll out right, flick your wrist while you ain't even looking, throw the ball 75 yards on a dime for a Not touchdown. We didn't already shit. seen that. Okay. So, like, what other tricks you got? That's not – now, hey, that's not fair to Caleb. That's not fair to Marvin. But that's how the narrative goes. Mm-hmm. At a certain point in college, you only push your stop but so high. So, like, Marvin, in my opinion – his stock can't get any higher. So, like, at that point, it's time to cash out. So why is the – if his stock can grow no higher, why is the either the plummet – because it's not even a fall. Why is the plummet immediate for him if he goes back? Because he's going it's, – it's, it's going to be a new toy. Because you reach it. You go reach speed, go you, Once you reach – like, if this the, is this the peak, right? once you reach the peak, there's nowhere to go up. The ceiling is closed. Like, yeah. you feel what I'm saying? The only way that you can go if you break through the wall and go to the NFL, go to the NFL – you gonna go back to Ohio State? What if y'all lose again? Now you really trip. Now you stupid. Now you now you zero and four. And you ain't even in a position to where it's in your hands. You're not playing quarterback. Yeah. Like you playing receiver. Play wide receiver. Your quarterback come back on bullshit, bro. Yeah. You tripping? He already had his high school quarterback with him, and they didn't win. What's you don't realize to that Marvin Harrison is a top three pick? Yes. What's better than top is, three? Is he guaranteed? He don't believe he, that. Yes. That's, that's, where, the that's team, where the convo the get team, all in. The though. team that the team. The the way that this draft is lined up, the team that has the number one pick is right now, always in control. And right they now, already it's the Bears. Have a quarterback. Right they, now, it's the Bears. They already have a quarterback. The, no, not this year, bro. That little talk is only because they have the number one pick. Yes, and Don't they let really that just talk trying to see. They they, they, see they who, playing who, who draft who games, bro. House for. They playing draft games, bro. So you so you got him going five. I got him going shit. I feel like. Once Chicago is is has somebody's worth, if they ain't gonna grab him with the number one pick, they'll trade out mm-hmm. and grab that boy wherever they can in the mm-hmm. third pick, fourth pick, or fifth. Mm-hmm. You said third, fourth, fifth. Mm-hmm. I don't got him getting out the top five. I, don't got him I barely five. got him getting out the top three, but I definitely ain't got him getting out the top five. Definitely. I got him making the top twelve. You, tr- you don't See, know this, who that boy the, is. <laughs> that's what I keep trying you to explain to him, is. bro. That's what I keep I gotta trying to explain. My parents are gonna see this and be like, bro, trust That's what me. I keep trying to explain to him. You're gonna though. make him go to the league, actually. He's gonna be like, this, he got me. I keep up. trying to explain it. And you also not ex- understanding how valuable the receiver position yeah, is. It's crazy right now. Justin Jefferson didn't put that bitch back on bro, the Bro, come on, Swear. bro. It's too many, it's too Tyreek. many goons and goblins out there every week. Jamar. You got you gotta have two and just these, to even talk. These contenders. Yeah. Devontae. So I'm saying to you. So and they seeing what quarterbacks, they seeing that. They seeing that you, you got a quarterback that that is good enough to just get the ball to a top guy. That's good enough. So now you ain't got to kill yourself for a top QB if you get a bunch of top receivers. So look, just so so from both so from both of y'all and I and I'm not trying to I'm not trying to go into to nothing crazy. I just need a yes or no answer if these teams need a quarterback or not. Yes or no answer if these teams need a quarterback. Can we agree on that? Bad mm-hmm. example, no. Because I can't, Bad I can't, example, I, I can't ask because you because I teams keep, need a quarterback. No, because I keep trying to explain to you, there's two different quarterback yeah. markets, bro, and you just keep ignoring that fact. You got the teams that are looking for rookie quarterbacks that want to reset some, probably new head coach, new GM. You know what I'm saying? They looking to to rebuild and start brand new, just like how we was this past year when we got Anthony, new head coach. Okay, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, what I mean, reset the whole situation, mm-hmm. trying to shake back. You feel me? Houston was in a similar situation. New head coach in D'Amico. Okay. New head coach in Carolina. You feel me? Those type of situations where you feel me, you're trying to create a culture from ground up and you want to build something with a young quarterback. Okay. Then you also got teams that are looking for veteran quarterbacks that feel like, yeah, they had a down year, but they got a couple of pieces around them mm-hmm. already. And they get a if they get a guy on his second chance, then they're capable of making a run. Prime example, like Atlanta. Okay. Uh, or or how, matter of fact, us we was in that market for the for three years, yeah. right? From Philip to to uh, Carson to to Matt Ryan, like we were looking for the 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 quarterback who was in a situation who wasn't happy or organization right. that wasn't happy with somebody, and we were looking to bring them onto our side and give them a fresh opportunity. Right. So well, those hold, are two different situations. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop you there because I do agree with you. There are two different situations, but in each, but in each, 
One, there's a need for those. And two, mm-hmm. the first two things that are, are always on the chopping block when I'm looking at what people are doing in the draft is, is cap space and draft picks. So if you have both and you need both of those to be able to make a move, that's what you do with those teams. So like I said, can I get a yes or a no on these I teams answer, that bro, need quarterback? Ahead. Thank you. Minnesota. Yes. Chicago. No. Well, maybe. Atlanta. Yes. Tennessee. Yeah. New York. Yeah. Chargers. I don't know if Tennessee, no. I don't know if Tennessee going to draft the quarterback high though. Cardinals. No. No. New England. Yes. Washington. Yeah. And yeah. Chicago has one more pick. How many teams you just named? I named like nine teams. Who are the nine quarterbacks that are going to go? You can go. I, I can give. I can go. I, right now, I'm going in my mind. Penix, CJ, and this no order. No order. I'm, no, no, no order. No order. No order. No order. PJ, um, Penix, um, CJ, Tim, Bo, uh, Tim. May, Tim. I'm naming. Tim. I'm naming quarterbacks. Tim. Penix is not going top ten, bro. I'm naming. You asked me. You asked me. Hold on. You asked me if you to name quarterbacks that can that are can get taken off of the board. If I'm respectfully, I ain't him. You, have you, you ever watched Mel, the NFL draft before, bro? If this is Mel Kiper's top ten board for quarterbacks, Penix is on that. Have, you ever, on have you ever watched the NFL draft? That's I've, what I'm asking, bro. Don't disrespect me. I watched the NFL draft. Have you ever seen a top ten where all quarterbacks get drafted? What you mean? No, 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 no. Like, I'm not naming. Like, hold on. Um, uh, Three and maybe four. I'm t- if that really probably two. And crazy. I'm not, but don't hold away. But this is what I'm saying to you. I'm not saying that. I'm saying to you is that all of these teams need quarterbacks. I'm saying that all these teams need quarterbacks. I'm naming so what ten. Do they have to say about so what I'm naming? To, I'm naming the quarterbacks that are available. So what does that got to do with Marvin yeah. going top three though? Because it's I don't teams see that it. Don't need quarterbacks, but I don't see. In, in the top six. It was teams in the top six that needed that. But that just that because you have a top six pick and you might need a quarterback don't mean you about to... But when you pick yeah. somebody top five, especially a quarterback, you putting your whole franchise on yeah, them. Yeah, they exactly. probably don't feel that way about that. Every team not going to fall in love with a Stay prospect. Away. Like, like, you feel what I'm yeah. saying? But I just feel... and then to, But to that point, though, I'm saying to y'all is that if Marvin is... If he's a good player... Or if he's gener- if he's generational, all right, then I'm tripping. Mm. Then I'm tripping that he he going maybe two if he's generational. It's not an if. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I can't. Right. I, can't let you, I can't let you try young. Look, Tim, this is right. what you gotta understand. This is right. what you gotta understand about the draft, bro. The draft is teams. It's teams that 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 take gold when gold is there, but it's also teams they don't dig themselves in holes. Yes. So they'd be like, mm. look. We'll pass up on a quarterback this year. We'll get a fill-in replacement guy, a guy that can manage the game, yep. which is what Cam Newton was trying to tell everybody in the world yep. when he was talking about game managers. Yep. Some of these quarterbacks are fill-in guys until we get the right pick Facts. to get to where we're going. Now, if we build a lot of people, like Z was just saying, if okay. we build a great team around an average quarterback or not even average because no, none of the, it's only 32 of these motherfuckers in the world. So True. I don't think any of them is average. But – some are better than others. Yeah. But if we get a quarterback, it's we get a average. great team, a great defense, good receivers, good running backs around these guys, like, we can make a run. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. Not to say that at the end of that run, I'm about to pay this motherfucker 200 uh, Pat Mahomes contract. Yeah. Now, you was just a fill-in until I got to the point into the draft to where I could get, get to what, what I, I wanted. Needed. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. So, like, they not just biting at quarterbacks because they need one. Okay. Now, in the midst of me looking for a quarterback and all the quarterbacks that I thought was good enough to leave my franchise for the Knicks, because when you draft a quarterback, you're looking at it for the next 10. 10. Yes. Like, you feel what I'm saying? 10 years. You're so burying somebody. In, okay. that, in that essence, if I fall across a jewel like Marvin Harrison, I'm going to grab him. Yeah. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Okay. And now I know, okay, I got him on a rookie deal for four years or whatever like that. I need to go get a quarterback that I can, whether I need to trade up in the next draft mm-hmm. or whatever like that, or whether I need to make some trades or whatever like that, get a, a quarterback in here that can keep him healthy, that can keep him this, okay. or whatever like that, until I bridge to the point to where the guy that I've been watching, the, the, the number one ESPN prospect that's going to be in the league in three years or four years, is ready and he pan out. The NFL really probably go that far mm. into drafting t- a quarterback. I feel you on that, but I feel like the teams that I did, that respectfully, and correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like the teams that I did name yeah. out of those 10, since 2015, they've been a low, they've been in a low for a quarterback. Yeah, because they've been in the they haven't found some the of them right teams ones. have drafted quarterbacks. For, that's another they thing. Like, some of these yeah. teams have already drafted quarterback. It's just, 
every team got a different philosophy. And also, mm. too, A, you're not accounting for anybody. That, bro, I'm trying to explain to you. If Mar- This is what you don't. I, I told you this off mic, too, bro. If Marvin Harrison Jr. Don't do it. No. If Marvin <laughs> Harrison Jr. slides out of that top five, boy. <laughs> phone's going to be ringing. Everything in Indiana that is not nailed down will be sent directly to whoever got the fucking pick yeah. to bring his ass to coach. We will have Anthony and Marvin, no practice facility, no building. Have a, it'd be, look, it would be something else. It'd be Capital One uh, Stadium. It won't be Lucas Oil no more. It'd be something else. And we might, even, Anthony Harrison. We might not even have Anthony Harrison name. Anyway. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Bro, we going to get it. You hear me? So don't even. Like, now that's what I'm trying to explain. Explain to you too, bro. There's teams out here, bro. Because what the fuck? What do you think would happen if Pat was to get Marvin? Like, what? How? How do you think that would play out? Patty Mahomes? Yes, that'd be the best thing on TV. And what make you think they wouldn't bet their whole season on some shit like that? But they, they not like, even in like, the, they not even the contention. I, they not even in the ten of the name. You, what make you think they wouldn't give up three first rounders in the next three years for that shit? What? Though? That's what I'm trying to explain to you. Like, okay. that's value. That's when you generational. That's different. Okay. You can't catch that no way. Yeah, bro. And and, and, and like and all, like I said, too, before, too, like, and it's a talented receiver class, too. You know what I'm saying? But even with that being said, like, Marvin was the guy last year. He was the talk of the whole offseason. He wasn't even up for the draft. They mm-hmm. talking about him all year. And, and his teammates still went first round. And that being said, he barely got the Blintikoff, respectfully, because the young boy at LSU was cooking. For sure. And, and they that had is voter water. fatigue. The same reason why LeBron don't win MVP every year. Yeah. The same reason why Kobe only got one MVP. Even though they were most valuable in the league more than once. It's voter it. fatigue. Yeah. I'm not going to just keep voting for LeBron every year. I'm not just going to keep voting for Kobe yeah. every year, man. I'm going to get somebody else a love. 15 MVPs. Yeah, I'm not, we not, it's just not going to happen. <laughs> Now, now, we did, for now you dismiss. Now you now you dismissing the whole like the the value of the trophy. Mm-hmm. You if you just value. keep getting it to one person, to one person. Yeah, we ain't like, yeah. You ain't right, doing I got you. All right. I, I'm, same yeah. time, y'all heard my number. Same time, Marvin Harrison, bro. He yeah. I can't shout out the young Marvin. Shout, no, shout out to Marvin. He's gonna be up, Marv. yeah, he gonna be up there. Yeah, right. bro. Uh, I mean, I guess I might as well say something about it. But uh, please do. Pro Bowl. Hmm. What? Speaking of new toys, what? <laughs> hey, bro, I think we talk though. I think, and it's really it's crazy. Speed just just said that like in a blip, but it was a great segue. It's like I don't understand the value no more, bro. In the Pro Bowl, <laughs> yeah, I don't understand, bro. Uh, what are we looking at? Like, what? Are, like, I want to say this, like, out of out of respect for the for the Pro Bowl and for everything, like. To the guys that got it, it was totally deserved. Okay. To the guys that got it, it ain't no hating shit going on. The fact that Roquan and Patrick McQueen both got was on there together, they snapped. That's Crazy. a big achievement, Crazy. bro. They can look at each other in the locker room Crazy. like, nigga, we did that. That's Good hard. Shit. That's hard. Like, you That's, feel hard. What I'm That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. So, and they organization paid both of them handsomely. handsomely. Nah, Pat up this year. He up this year? Mm-hmm. Well, oh, I thought, still, he's still on, I thought he signed he still for something. He still got a contract. No, nah, he's a rookie. He was he on his rookie deal. He on his rookie deal? Well, he's oh. doing, I, in my opinion, I think he he deserves it. No, he, he about due. Yeah, he about due. And he okay, about due. So do. both of those guys, you feel what I'm saying? They came into a situation. They made that pack together, and they stood by their word, and they did their thing. Okay. All the rest of the guys, shit, sadly, is not enough slots. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> and to the alternates, bro, they pro bowlers, bro. Just because it's not enough slots. When you're an alternate, bro, you're a pro bowler too. So it's not a knock on a pro. Like, that's what people got to, got to like pay homage to. Okay. Also, bro, you in that, you in that, you in that category with the guys. It just, you know, they just keeping the motherfucker to where they trying to hold value into the whole shit. Everyone that is there is deserving people voting, things of that nature. I get that. Yeah. I'm more so asking of because I think that that is something that's there and how they got in. Mm-hmm. What is the metric? How are we looking are at? Yeah, like what, Man, what are we doing? Let me say this, bro. First and foremost, shout out to Queen, shout out to Roquan. Like Speed said, well deserved. For sure. No, no, Boys no, no going doubt. crazy. No mm-hmm. doubt. 
Much respect to their linebacker room. We've we've but big up big up them. Yep. Uh them, San Fran, New York Jets, uh, Giants too. Bobby got young McFadden turned up over there as well. Yep. Uh so, you know what I mean? It it ain't like I said, it ain't never that, bro. And I also would say, uh, to Speed's uh point, you do gotta appreciate the recognition that it is what it is. You feel me? That for what it is. Like Okay. Slide motherfuckers playing linebacker. Now everybody got alternate. And I always go back to Speed, we was we was teamers, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> bro, we was uh we was running down on kickoff, bro. We was trying to show up on the special team scouting report. Now we on the Pro Bowl ballot. Right. So we always we always we always we always appreciate our journey. Mm-hmm. And to be honest, how I personally feel about it, like this this is going. I don't know how people are gonna feel about it, but I'm gonna be honest. I ain't feel like I earned that shit. To be honest with you, mm-hmm. that's how I feel. I felt like, again, I feel like, I and I said something about this to the media today, but I truly just felt like I got another level to tap into, bro. I feel like there's another version of me is another level is another game it's another it's another level for me to get to yeah and uh you know even though i'm close like for me it was just that hunger to get more so i ain't i ain't gonna play that now uh so you feel me i definitely like i appreciate all the love though you feel me i appreciate it you know what i mean shout out to k adams shout out to rob mathis now, i get it too man you like I, I already know everybody gonna say z but you whoop and you da 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 i get it i know but I got to stand it for myself. And that's what I was trying to explain to people, too. Like, I be telling y'all, I, be, I, I was grieving. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think the part yeah. of it, too, is it's just like, you know, because first and foremost, I can't even continue on. But that boy Bobby, bro. Oh, man. That boy Cra- Bobby, bro. Hey. He caught me, gang. Congratulations, bro. You know what? League leader. The Le- league leader. I caught you at tackles. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Three over. <laughs> Yeah, he caught it. This is third John. Yeah. So definitely, yeah. first and foremost, I got to text my man, but shout out to B-Wags. Yes, sir. Shout out to B-Wags. First and foremost, <laughs> I'm tired of losing to this motherfucker. <laughs> I, mean, oh, I thought you were saying Bobby O'Carrick. No, nah, B-Wags. Yeah, B-Wags, Bobby Wags. Yeah, shout out to B-Wags. League leader in tackles. This is third time doing it. I know. I t- <laughs> I tell, what I tell, year is this for? It's 12. Oh, shout out to kid, dog. Yeah, <laughs> shout, shout out to 12, bro. Shit. 183 at 12. It's tough. Body feeling different this morning. I know it is, bro. Because <laughs> my shit hurting. I'm at six. That boy twice. 12, 183? Yeah. That's how he acting. Gold jacket. Stance. Yeah. yeah. You, see, we, you see where we got him at? Up on the wall. Big brother. Uh, Yeah, man. I ain't going to lie. I gotta go watch the film when I get home. <laughs> I'm not letting you do that to my man. No, nah, I ain't saying that. I ain't discrediting it, but I'm saying I gotta I watch the because I didn't pay attention. Oh, to see how he was coming. Yeah, that's why I didn't know. Oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but no, mm-hmm. shout out to B Wags. I don't know, bro. It's just like, I feel like in Speed, maybe you can speak on it too, bro. Like, I, I think Speed, no, because obviously we work together. Like, you know what I'm saying? We grind together. For we sure. get it together. Every we day. in these moments together. So, you know how I am and just the standard that. I hold myself to, you hold yourself to, that we hold our room to. Mm. Um, that, and I, obviously now that the season's over, we all in a moment of reflection. Um, so now it's time to look back and see what we, what, what, what it was and what it wasn't. But how do you balance um, success, but also keeping in mind to the type of player in a in a in a type of impact on a game that you're trying to achieve uh and grow into. How do you manage that? I just put both of them joints in the same category. <laughs> I don't look at success as the number or the stat line. Mm-hmm. I just look mm-hmm. at success as how I affected the game and how I believe that is winning football to me. <laughs> me personally, when I came into the game, of course everybody knows D Leonard his when I when I first seen like greatness in the NFL through my eyes personally on the sideline while I was in it, mm. it was a guy taking the football away. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? It wasn't it wasn't crazy big hits or anything like that. It was a guy taking the football away. 
And I seen him win games off that. Like, we didn't both been on the sideline where D. Lindethan took the ball away. So that's how I started rating success in the league. Mm -hmm. But then it was a point in last year where um, where Zaire made a comment and he was like, hey, like, I play the game the way I play the game. Mm -hmm. Like, you feel what I'm saying? And then that hit me like, you know, when I like when I'm in the league and I'm fresh and I'm young, because you know when I came in the league, I was only playing linebacker for two years. Yeah. So when I was fresh and I was young, I was like taking away the taking away taking away the ball is the only way that you can have an effect on the game. On the game, yeah. And then Zaire came and was like, "Nah, stopping somebody and getting off the field, you can have an effect on the game with that." Mm. And then I was like, "All right, let me take that piece." And then it was like Walk was like reading, reacting shit. Like you can, woo woo, you can take the game for that. Mm -hmm. You can take the game from that. And these are veteran guys that was here before me in the league and they had their success and they did what they was doing. So, like, when I rate my success, it's like I start to look at it as, like, how do I play the game? And how do I affect the game? I make plays. Yeah. So, when you making plays and you affecting games like that, and whether it's a takeaway, whether it's a fourth down stop, whether it's a third down stop, rate your success off that. Rate your success week by week. Mm. And then – at the end of the season, see where it stack up. See where it stack up at, and okay. see and see where and see what happens. Yeah. And most of the time, if if it stack up into you going into the playoffs, you woo woo, then that's what it is. Because it's a lot of guys that don't got the stats that I have, anything like that. But they also got wins under their belt. Mm. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying. So how can I look at them and tell them he playing in the Super Bowl? How can I look at him and tell him he not, that my success rate was mm -hmm. better than yours because mm -hmm. I had this many sacks or this many force fumbles or this many, and he can turn around and say, oh, no, I was trying to play winning football. Mm. And did the whole conversation right there. Mm. And did. And he did. And, and he, he, he was doing up it. his hardware. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I feel like my success is in that. Now I'm in year, going into year six, my success is past the stat line, bro. Mm. My success is winning a ship. Mm. If I can win a ship... I take 30 less tackles, few less turnovers or whatever, Oof. just to be in the right spot. Talk about it, bro. And that's and I think that's what you was getting across in that situation that was said, like, I play the game the way I play the game, and other players play the game the way they play the game. And then even when those other players were telling Z, like, this is how I look at it or whatever like that, it's just, you feel what I'm saying? Mm. Everybody, uh, right, everybody got their success off that. You know what I mean? We all that trying to be the best version of ourselves. Of ourselves, yeah. Of ourselves, bro. And I think, and I agree with Speed where he coming from with that too. Um, just as, uh, now, I would say for me, it's a little different uh, just because, you know, I feel like, you know, grow up watching, you know, Brian Dawkins, uh, Jeremiah Trotter, um, you know, Philly Eagle legends like that, uh, you know, looking up to, you know, guys, you know, like, to be honest, you know, I, I love the way, like, you know, Antonio Pierce played, to be honest with you, like, shit like that, like, guys like that, like, I I grew up always, like, kind of idolizing the linebacker position um, and just kind of knowing guys from across the spectrum, you know what I mean, from uh, Bart Scott, yeah. uh, who, you know, great leader, great motivation, who hard hitter, you know, obviously he was next to Ray, you feel me, uh, to... Um, I don't know. We could go on and on. Like, you Ryan feel me? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or like, I wasn't really a big... I was, I was more of a Lance Lacker Briggs guy, guy personally. Lance but, Briggs was fine, too. Yeah. And Hillemar was called at that motherfucking Sam. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Hillemar was going crazy. Yeah, 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 it is, man. Yeah, yeah. was going crazy. Nah, but I just... You know, for me, so I just... For me, it was just always like that. And like, you know, when... um, I think it was like a Colts uh, little thing for like the Jumbotron. They asked me for my Mount Rushmore linebackers. Uh, of all time. And, you know, I, I gave my joint. I think it was uh, Ray Lewis. Uh, I had B-Wags on that joint. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I went uh, Jack Lambert. Um, and then I think I might have went Mike Singletary, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think it, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, think think I, I think it was Mike Singletary. Yeah. But I guess how I rate and judge linebackers, um, especially from the Mike position, is first and foremost is leadership and calling the plays. To me, that's like you the, you the quarterback on defense. Beast in itself. So, yeah, that's a motherfucker in and of itself. Like, and to that being said, are you leading a good unit? You have to lead a top unit. All those guys, Mike Singletary, B-Wags, uh, Jack Lambert, 
uh, Ray Lewis. Uh, obviously, you know, shout out to Keekly and all those other guys. You know, they're mm-hmm. great. They led great units. And I think, you know, uh, Tim did ask a question earlier, how would I grade, you know, the def- our defensive performance throughout the year? And I feel like if I'm not, I'm not going to put a letter grade on it, but okay. I would say, you know, I, I would say it was good, not great. I feel like we had highs and lows. We went through adversity. Um, but I'm proud of how we shook back and and didn't take no for an answer. Okay. Uh, I know – the end of the year stats not all not as pretty as we wanted them to be, um, but we all looked each other as men in the eye when we was ranked thirty second in scoring defense and said that's not the fuck we is, and we decided to turn that around. And I'm proud of us for that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud of us for the the takeaway streak that we had. It was longest in the league at the time, yeah. and I'm proud of that D line for being top five in sacks mm-hmm. you know and what breaking saying? the franchise record. and breaking the franchise record. I'm proud of me and Speed and D Leonard because he had a part of it, and Shea Goon because he was a part of it, and Grant because he was a part of it. You know, the linebacker unit that we had th- this year that stood tall, that kept going through the highs and lows of the season and making play after play after play after play. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Them DBs yeah. from Jay to Jew to Kenny to Jew Blackman, you know, all those guys, Bake, you know what I mean? Look, plays was made. Nick Cross, plays was made. Yeah. But we wasn't mm-hmm. perfect. You know what I mean? But in my opinion, the measure of a great linebacker, you got to lead a top unit. I'm talking like generation. So going to more depth with that, talk about leading younger guys on the team based on leading older guys on the team. What's the difference and how you got to go about that situation in uh, different ways? Because that's a challenge in itself. I was just talking to Anthony about this shit. Because guess what, bro? I was not perfect. <laughs> I wasn't perfect. Yeah. And I, but I was telling Anthony just a little bit about just the, the highs and lows of leadership. But what I would just say is, when you're talking to when you're dealing with young boys, man, you gotta understand that they get caught up in the moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, prime example, uh, Jew Brents. And uh, like he young, young dude, all the talent in the world. I love Jew Brents. I, I really I truly believe that he is a puzzle piece. Like his, his from his physicality, all the thing that he brings to the game. Jaylen. He he, different. I love I love Jay too. I love Jay Jones too. First of all, seven round step, but you know I'm rocking with that, with the boys for sure. But like when you are dealing with young dudes, they get caught up in the moment too much. Like sometimes, like a big play, it's like highs and lows of the league. They don't understand that it's shake back all the time, baby. Yeah. And guess what? You get something up, the ball coming right back to you, doggy. So while you over here worried about that, you got to get your mind right for the next one because it's coming right back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and sometimes like waking them out of that up out of that sleep is a <laughs> come on. Like wake, right up, wake up, let's go right now. Don't don't even think about it. Come on, let's mm-hmm. keep working, because you kind of too caught up. You kind of like you feel me. You shell shot a little bit about the the the, the uh you feel me the gravity of the of the moment. Something that you did exactly that you rather did. than yeah. understanding that it's all about just keep moving forward. Right. Um, and I think that's what it is. Obviously, like we talked about earlier with T. Good and those guys. Like, I feel like it's letting them know that the, the the sky ain't falling and that we all fuck up, bro. <laughs> Like your favorite players in, in in the league don't have great moments. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. Tyreek Hill, generational talent. He, he he don't he he don't he don't he not he not perfect. We I don't, we didn't all watch Jalen Ramsey get beat. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? If, if they could get beat, you, everybody, you feel me? Like that should let you know we all bleed. And guess what? The other guys get paid too sometimes. You know what I'm saying? So like that, I would say it's more so like that. It's encouraging them. It's holding them accountable. Letting them know that, you know, routine and, uh, you know, trusting your teammates, trusting the coaches is important, bro. That, uh, you know, knowing your assignment is not just uh, encouraged, nigga. It's your job. This ain't mm-hmm. college. It's your job. You're paid to know what the fuck you're doing. I'm not asking you to, to learn some shit. Yeah. So you, only, you, you only in the seat to learn some shit. I'm so telling how, you. Do you, how, do you, yeah. how do you lead those guys in a high moments, the, the rooks? The the younger guys, man, I'm encouraging, bro. I'm letting, I'm, 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 uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pouring fuel on the flame and and, and 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 letting you know that I see the vision of who you' trying to be. So, do you see it as as for a younger guy? Because a, a older guy, he more likely, he more than likely already been on yeah, this dealing, dealing on this up and f- on this yeah. on this on this roller coaster to go up, but then it falls back down. Yeah. So for a younger guy, it's like you're encouraging, you adding fuel to the flame. And then that game come. You know, you always got that game when that rep come mm-hmm. or that or that injury knock on wood or that anything, and it just, huh. Mm-hmm. 
So you feel me? So during the up, when you pouring flame on the fire, how do you transition? You feel me? To to support the fall. Well, I think I think it's reminding like the young bulls, cause like we all we all do it. We all have I'm saying we all have done it. You know, you have a couple good good games, you know. You know, 13 tackles here, 15, two TFLs here, four fumble here, shit. I ain't pulling up at, at six. I'm gonna get there about six thirty. <laughs> six thirty. Six thirty. Oh, me, nigga. Oh, me. I'm, gonna get there, I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get there about six <laughs> forty. I'm gonna get there about six forty. That's cool. I just need a little sleep. Where my chain on? Don't be tripping. 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 Don't Mm-hmm. Hey, don't don't get cool during walkthrough. I know that you, I know you just picked that bitch, but you picked that bitch because when we was in walkthrough, you treated that walkthrough rep like a game rep. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. why when the game rep came, you reacted the way you did. Now you think it's cool to let the scout team uh, uh, receiver on walkthrough route you up right. on a slant and yeah. go and just say, "Oh, I got it." You ain't got it. Let everybody know that you got it because you always there. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like keeping them humble, keeping them true to the situation. Um, and then when it's the, like that, it's just, I feel like you always just got to fall back on your training, bro. You always got to fall back in the work, man. Like, yeah. but it's hard though, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. It's, it's, it's hard when you, when you putting in work so, on something and you trying to be something so, so bad, like you, you putting everything you got into it and it feel like you just keep hitting that fucking wall. Like you just keep like not breaking through. You keep like not making a play that you want. Like, you know what I mean? And you mm. just like, damn. And you it make you want to quit. Like you feel me? Right. Like it makes mm. you want to be like not quit, but just why I'm doing this for? Do this work? So like, why I'm doing that? You just, so that, when you see a veteran guy, me. when you see a veteran guy in a situation to because even though veterans are more susceptible of like knowing their career and knowing their body, and knowing their mental, when you see a veteran guy hit a wall to where he like it's just it shit just ain't going, dog. Like it just da da da. As a leader in a locker room. What do you say to the veteran guy in that situation? Because, you know, we all need a little, you feel what I'm saying? Encouragement, for sure. Encouragement at a time like that. Do you mm-hmm. remind them of what it was or what, what, what you're capable of or what I seen you do? I didn't see you, whoop de whoop 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 Or do you kind of like, ah, he just in his funk, let him come back to it? Let me say this. Um, <laughs> first of all, with veterans, it's, it's a lot different. But to be honest, a lot of it is one and the same. And I think leadership starts with... And I know Speed could definitely uh, co-sign this for me, but leadership starts with the relationship and the and the personal connection that you have with the guys on your team, bro. Mm-hmm. You, especially when it comes to the veteran. Bro, I would say especially when it comes to the young boys, personally. Yeah. Because a veteran going to understand the business of the league a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Whereas though the young bull still think this is a kumbaya, I'm about to come back for a red shirt sophomore season. Oh, young bull, they made you inactive the last five games of the year, bro. You need to lock in. Yeah, you might, you might look. You I know, I know, I know, look, I know you got a little paper. I know it's for off season. Mm-hmm. Look, go ahead, definitely do the Miami. Definitely hit this game. Hit this guy, am yeah for sure. But hey, look, when you hit, when you when you hit, when you when it's time to lock in, you really need to lock in because you got some shit to prove. Don't let these people play with you like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I would just say, like, for me, it's just it's hard to answer because, you know, leadership is just very specific and a lot of it is just very different to the different situations. I done had a situation where, you know, I done had to pull, you know, guys, you know, in the locker room, we in the locker room together one-on-one. And this is me telling you, like, bro, I knew you was a fucking seven since we was in college, nigga. You hear me? Mm-hmm. Since we was in college. Yeah. We went to war against each other. And I and I lost. <laughs> you hear me? Yeah. I lost. You kicked my ass. <laughs> so I know who you always was. Mm-hmm. Don't let these Twitter warriors, don't let these bloggers, don't let don't let PFF any of that shit. Don't let that forget you who you are. Exactly. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot of shit. Like like what PC said. Like bro. Like sometimes it's bro. Go back and watch that shit when you was at Ohio State. Go back and watch the shit when you was at Ole Miss or whatever, LSU or wherever, and, and remind yourself, nobody built like you. You designed yourself. You hear mm. me? Mm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's like, yeah. sometimes it's that. Sometimes it's just, hey, hey, look, big dog. I know it's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> All it takes is one sack to get I going, baby. 
All the look, look, look. Hey, hey, look, look. Yes, sir. All it takes is one of those hit. <laughs> and then it's blood in the water, baby. That's Tell all it takes. All it takes is one. I got that shit. All it takes is one. Look, 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 I know it's been a year and a half since you got the book. All it takes is one. Yeah. And guess what? It's coming. Yeah. It's coming. Just be ready. Just be yeah. ready. You know what I mean? So, so my I, tactic, I feel like my tactic of like when I'm dealing with younger players, I go more towards a you got something to prove way of things and like just hmm. let them know this shit gonna come with ups and downs just having a little conversation with them and most of the time younger guys they come in the league they still got like their college they still got like their college camaraderie with teammates Yeah. so I talk to them about shit that they like like I go talk to them about fashion I go talk to them about cars whatever they want you know what I mean just have a little relationship on them off the field so when I do talk to them and say something on the field yeah. it's not coming as I'm trying to belittle you I'm trying to say this is my first time speaking to you my team like you know mm -hmm. what I mean it's not my first time speaking to you in a sense mm -hmm. but with the veteran guys that's where I love that the most okay because now I can go off experience that we didn't been through together mm -hmm. we was there and and when when we was on three dog night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. nigga we was there when we was uh, foreign and and whatever yeah. the rest of the record was, was and mm -hmm. we was there when we went through coaching changes. We was there, like mm -hmm. looking like we was both. I remember we was we was <laughs> at that together. So like when we step out there, dog, like you know what I mean. It was a point in the season to where uh, Ronnie had to move to safety. We lost Julian. Mm -hmm. Kenny was down mm -hmm. a game. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. He was fighting to get back. Um, and we looked at the back seven at me and Z like, <laughs> hey, dog. <laughs> AJ. This is what it is, dog. Like, Come on, you know now. what I'm saying? Let's spin. Let's spin. And this spin. Las Vegas. So, like, and it was Las Vegas. And Las Vegas, I made a few mistakes in the Las Vegas game. But I needed, I needed to just see Z. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I needed Z to look at me and be like, nah, dog. Like. You a playmaker after mm -hmm. after the the the, the ruffling the kicker. Yeah. We extended the drive fresh out the half. You know we need that momentum. Yeah. He, nah, dog, you a playmaker. That's you. You make that play. Like, yeah. don't even worry about that shit. Da, da, da. I need it to come to the sideline and her dad say, <coughs> I didn't see you make that play before. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of looks on the sideline that's scowling. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? We ain't going to mm -hmm. say no names, but it's a lot of looks on the sideline that's scowling, but it's a few of them that's like, that's veteran leadership. Mm -hmm. That's how you lead a vet or whatever like that, based yeah. on a rook. That that's I feel like that's the difference, and that's as a leader, you feel what I'm you feel what I'm saying. I think we just got to know how to do both, and there's certain points where in a game where a leader got to lead a coach too. Yeah. People don't talk about that enough. Sometimes yeah, you got to go fact. to coach and be like, "Look, this is what we need out there." <laughs> Sometimes fact. you got to go to coach and be like, hey, yeah. "Coach, I got that." Yeah. Don't even worry about that. Like, you mm -hmm. try and put a safety over the top of me on this, and you feel like you need that safety to go zip a three. No, no, no. Don't no, worry no. about it, coach. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I got you this rope. For sure. You for feel sure. what I'm saying? Okay. To further notice. Okay. I would also, I would also okay. say, too, like, there's different, like, you need different types of leaders on the team. Like, I, me and Tim talk about it all the time just because we honestly been having this conversation for Years at this point. <laughs> Shit crazy. We can't hold Tim. It's fucked up. It's but, like we there. Shit. Uh, it's just like, bro, like, I can't have 53 Zaires on a team. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, I can't. I don't want, <laughs> I don't want 53 <laughs> niggas is out there just like me yeah. doing the shit. Like, I don't, like, that's not going to make the team better. You get what I'm saying? Right. And that's something, honestly, that I had to learn and grow into and appreciate. Like, okay, this is how I prepare. This is how I get ready for a game. This is how I approach, you know, you know, learn, whether it's learning something yeah. or how I play or this is what mm -hmm. motivates me. That's not everybody's situation. And if you need the different leaders on a team, like straight up, like, you know, obviously like, like Defo, like I'm going to be honest with you, like Defo, uh, man, he means a lot to me because that's the guy that I follow. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Defo is not, the most vocal guy, I would say. Now he lead his room, him and him and Grove. But Buck, he he lead that room. He take care of the D line. If some shit going on, he gonna make sure he is right. That D line, it move off that. He set that tempo over there. Okay. And to it to that extent, the, to the defense. Yeah. But at the same time, it's just like I know how Defoe is. Like Defoe, Defoe, the motherfucker in the room that ain't really. 
he ain't finna always stand up in front of the the the, the 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 team or the unit and and always feel like you know he got to say something or always want to you feel me. But when he say something, motherfucker, it's time to listen. Like you get what I'm saying. And when he the one that's pulling to the side, Z, come on. All right, all right, all right, default. I got you. You know what I'm saying? You need a different type. You, I, you need the EJs because I'm going to come straight up to you. Hey, come on, bro. Like, so you chasing around these little bitches. You got them. You flying them out. You Look, look, gang. <laughs> oh, look, man. let's right. lock in. Let's oh, lock man. in. You You're worry right. about the wrong shit. Come on. Yeah. EJ, I ain't going to do these speed like that. But <laughs> but you need, you need, I like, like you said. Shy, you <laughs> but you, 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 need, you need, you need, you need guys in the, you need guys in the building that yeah. that understanding that can speak from different like you feel me it's like good cop bad cop like yeah. sometimes and look but then there's other times with speed nigga <laughs> speed no nah, cause see that's why we be losing cause you <laughs> oh god chill nah, don't worry about speed man. he just going, be winning he just be federal. winning man. he just be that, winning man. but telling I ain't gonna hold telling you why I can go that route because I make sure that I got personal relationships with the people with all my teammates yeah. bro yeah like yeah. I don't just I'm more of a guy like I don't just keep it ball. Like it was some situations happen with some guys throughout the season, and I was like, and it wasn't even a situation that happened. It was way before situations, and I was telling people like, as a football player is one thing, bro. But if we gonna call somebody a family, we gotta work on this person as a man. Mm. Okay, like you feel what I'm saying? Okay, you catch a you catch a moment with a guy that you feel like slacking in the area, off the football field, on the football field, or whatever, and y'all in the sauna. Holler at him about it one on one. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because at some point in time, if you're on that 53 man roster, you never know your name could be called. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? And yeah. when it's time for you to perform, I want you to perform off the love of yeah. the team because that's when the passion gonna come out and you gonna give it your all. You ain't gonna be worried about next year's contract. Yep. And, and we worried, need it's you. Just gonna click. You feel yeah. me? You gonna do this shit just for the guy next to you or whatever like that. So. Mm-hmm. It just that that leadership leadership is something that like that's very important, and like I think people ask us, they be like, "Why did you? Why y'all? How y'all get to the point that y'all was this year when everybody counted y'all out and it was no way that y'all was supposed to be competing to make it to the playoffs or anything like that?" It's because we got guys like that, or what we just explained, the default the Z's, the KMO. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? The big Q's, the Me's, like mm-hmm. you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It got people like that that's 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 pushing that shit through the locker room. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me uh ask you this speed and we're gonna wrap it up soon. This has been a great John. I appreciated the talks too. Um mm-hmm. but who's the guy not in our locker room? Like who's somebody, uh, whether it's you know, in the league, still playing, retired, college, whoever, that you feel like you lean on when you feel like you need a convo or something like that? Like, who are some guys that you feel like you go to that for that type of advice, that type of encouragement, the type of stuff that we talking about we do for others? Who are the type of people that you lean on? That's that not, that's no longer in the locker room or never been in the locker room? Because uh, I know... I mean, well, Weezy, I, however you want to do You it. can call Weezy at any time, bro. Yeah. T.Y. gonna answer the phone. Yeah. And he mm-hmm. gonna give it to you straight or whatever you need, like you feel what I'm saying? And, and yeah. Any talk Shout out to Weezy. Shout out to T.Y., and then, like, just a guy in the building, I lean more towards a guy like Rich in the training in the training room, just cause in the, in the weight room. In the weight room, my bad, not training room. Rich, really? Yeah, dog. I'm telling you, I Rich had, be on motherfuckers' ass. Though. I actually remember that. I Rich had real conversations. <laughs> you know, it's so crazy though. I, I I I'm like that with Frog though. Shout out to Rich though. Yeah. Me and Rich be catching up though. But I'm like that with Frog though. I'm with you. I'm with you on that mm-hmm. though because. Shout out to Rich and Frog, man. Uh, both of them, I think, both been in the building going on 25, 30 years. Oh, wow. And they they just been through, and like the equipment in the weight room, they see guys in every moment. First of all, they dealing with guys one-on-one. They dealing with everybody one-on-one because everybody got their own shit. Right. But then they also just the, the guys in the background sometimes just hearing convos, seeing how different situations is getting handled. I feel like they understand the pulse of the team. And I feel like Frog, excuse me, he the one that, that let me know, like, yo, look, the great ones, when this shit was humming, this how they went about it. Like, this how they went about it. This how Tark would have handled that situation. This is how, uh, you know, Jeff Saturday would have handled this situation. Or if Gary Brackett, you know what I mean? This how they went about that situation. Like, mm-hmm. you feel me? And something to aspire to, something to continue working to. Mm-hmm. And they hold you accountable on a different level because – 
they didn't see the highs and lows. They didn't see guys succeed and fail in the league. And I feel like they just give you that great perspective. Mm. Yeah. That's a good job, though. Mm. Dang. That's, That's crazy because we had a little situation uh, with T. T know the buttons to press with me. And, uh, ah, T! T, 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 T! T know the buttons to press with me when he walk in the locker room. And, like, he know that I ain't going for none of that. Like, I'm, I'm a competitor. So, like, T will just trigger me, bro. He'll come in the locker room and be shooting a shot. Be like, EJ, boy, you ain't got nothing on this shot. Ooh, ooh. Now, what you want to do? <laughs> Put a 50 I mean, on it. I mean. And T, he the type of, uh, T will be in there. We are, everybody will be at home. T will be in there shooting because he know he going to challenge me tomorrow. Yeah, yeah get right. Yeah. He coming there cash all them joints. I'm on yet. I told you, boy. I told you. No. <laughs> Shout out T, yo. Shout out to T, yes, yeah. sir, man. But all the best know how T rocks, so they like, woo yeah. Rooks, they on your head. That's about crazy. It. Mm. Hey, look, it's been a hell of a year. Shout out to big bro B-Wags, man. Damn, I'm tired of losing to your ass, but <laughs> much respect to the gold jacket, bro. First ballot. If I look, if I got loose to a first to a first ballot Hall of Famer, then it is what it is, baby. It's good company. Much love, bro. Appreciate the respect. Appreciate the hustle. He told me it was going to be me and him one and two. I didn't know he meant him, then me, though. That's corny. <laughs> it's all right. Great pod. Great season, man. Bigger things coming in the future, bro. I love where it's going. I love where it's headed. Yes, sir. Signing off.